This is TNA, the new face of professional wrestling. Tonight, four men will desire what only one may possess. Falls count anywhere. Pain will be felt everywhere. Legends may rise and champions fall. And every deed tonight, whether valiant or tragic or triumphant, will echo through eternity. And now, TNA Wrestling presents Destination X. Tonight, live from Orlando, Florida, get ready for the first ever Ultimate X Challenge. Plus, Jeff Jarrett defends the NWA title against Diamond Dallas Page. It's time for TNA's version of March Madness. It's time for Destination X. Tell you what, it's going to be brutal, but don't forget also, Kevin Nash, Outlaw, 
first blood. Kevin Nash has revenge in mind. He feels Outlaw is the one that cost him the title. Yeah, you're right. That's TNA's version of old school. We're going to tape up the fist. It's going to be a first blood match. But what do you say? We jumpstart the pay-per-view with an eight-man tag team match. And when you talk tag team wrestling, circa 2005, it just doesn't get much better than this. Here comes the former two-time NWA Tag Team Champion, BG James on the right, Conan on the left, three live crew, and they are set to join forces with the current NWA Champion, America's Most Wanted Don, the crew, no strangers to the opposition tonight, Team Canada. You might recall the two teams exchanged victories and the tag titles on our November and December papers. Well, if there were any two tag teams in the world, they have a reason to want Team Canada in that ring. It's Three Live Crew and these guys, America's Most Wanted. Team Canada has been a thorn in their side for years. Team Canada seems to always be the roadblock in their way. The most minimal matches we've seen in tag team action lately. Have a ball, America's Most Wanted. Team Canada, Three Live Crew. This is going to be an unbelievable eight-man tag match. Let's face it, AMW, they've dominated the tag division in TNA since this promotion's inception almost three years ago. There you see Yo, the Wildcat Prisoners and What's the Tennessee Cowboy Transform, and we're going to hear from Conan. What I want to know is, where are dogs at? Where they at? Yo, 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 let me speak on this. Orale! Arriba la raza! Orlando, Florida, as well as the rest of the viewing world, Welcome to the dog house. Now then, let's kick that old school poo poo with a new age swing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, NWA TNA proudly brings to you its soon to be tag team champions of the world. Got a little reaction to the AMW right there. Not that. two, but the three live crew. Maybe a difference of opinion yeah. from AMW? Hey, but you got to admire BG James' spirit. You got to admire his focus, but right now they got to work together. And here come the Canadians, and for Team Canada, and their leader, Coach Scott Demore. I look at Destination X as an opportunity, an opportunity to prove that they are, as Demore claims, the elite fighting team in pro sports today. You know, the Canadians no longer have possession of the NWA tag titles or the X Division titles. You know DeMore loved the power. He loved the control that went along with holding the gold. This is a big step for the Canadians to get back in the title picture. And we need to discuss the injury situation as it's like to Johnny Devine. Just got well, if you look right there, you'll see a different member of Team Canada coming out with that big load, Scott DeMore. Johnny Devine can't go. The MCL and ACL, the MCL, this guy has messed up his knee. But Scott DeMore always has a plan. Right? Boy, he certainly does, you're right. Johnny Devine, he's gonna be on the shelf for a while, obviously. Torn MCL, torn ACL of the knee, and taking his place in Team Canada is a man that we have seen in the past. Alistair Rout, he was mouth, one of our you early impact broadcasts last year where we saw him in competition for Team Canada. And you know, Coach Gamore has always got the troops ready. Well, I tell you what, he's a great recruiter of talent. We know that. We've seen the talent that he's brought here from Canada. But what he's done is given this team a different look. Alistair Rout has the size and power of Bobby Roode. This gives them a different feel, a different look. We know what the Daredevil Change, change. 
to send it not just to the Canadians, but also to America's most wanted. His tag team partners in this match, but let's face it, down the line, they could be opponents, they could be rivals, they could be battling for the NWA Tag Team Gold. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you're friends for the, the short moment you're in that ring together. After that's over with, you've got to have your ball in mind. If you don't have the tag team belt in your hands, and that's got to be your ball constantly. Eric Young and Conan to square off now. And yes, the impact zone, it's been rocking from the opening bell. Conan, nice reversal. Grabs a side headlock. Young gonna try and shoot him off and does into the ropes. Conan puts the shoulder into Eric Young. Quickly springs off oh, the ropes and oh, oh. avoids the contact. Doubles him over, boot to the midsection. I'll tell you what, look at this. Again in the rolling thunder right there by Conan. Look at Conan too. Look at the shape he's in. This guy's been working hard, been wrestling all over the world, getting ready for Destination X, and you can see, oh man. How about that? Took it so and threw it right at him. Bobby Roode into Conan. Oh. Cowboy, one half of the tag team title hold, one half of AMW, James Storm in with Eric Young. Cowboy rolls through, right back up to his feet, shoots Young off into the ropes, gonna take him up, oh, oh, high hip toss. Nice hip toss right there, another arm drag right there, by James Storm and the kick, I'm telling you something, there's a reason why these guys have held the tag team title belts six times between them. Shoulder block, now by Storm, again off the ropes, puts on the brakes, drops down, what are you gonna do?
slam, a hammerlock slam. He had the arm of Harris behind his back so that when he took him up into the air and drove him down to the canvas, all of Harris's weight was crashing down across the arm. Well, you come and tell you something when you're a southpaw like Buckett, because here it is. That left shoulder goes on you, that left shoulder's damaged. The kids get no tag here. No oh, tag well, for Rude. Well, expect anything less. Well, you're right, they've taken away one of the most important weapons of AMW. Yes. That left hand, that left arm of the Wildcat. But what Wildcat's got to realize is he doesn't have to go to the low. He's got three partners over there. He needs to get to that side and get either Conan beat the game or his own partner, Cowboy James Ford, back in that ring. Let his shoulders subside and then use him if he can, but he's got to get it tag. That's the key, and I guess it's easy for you and I to sit at yeah. the broadcast table and say just get a tag in. Get Conan in, get Storm in, get BG in. But he's in there fighting the four individuals, plus Gabor and Dubai. They're cutting off the ring. They don't want to allow him to get to the other side of the six-sided ring. And all four members of Team Canada know where Wildcat Chris Harris is hurting. They know that the left shoulder hurts. And, but look at this. He still comes back and gets a goal, but right away, he grabbed that arm. Right away, he grabbed that arm. Trying to fight through the pain is Harris. Wildcat. Just trying to regroup at this point. Oh, yeah. Just trying to roll towards that side. Look Get the that. tag in. Young tags in Rude on one side. Here comes and here comes K Dog in the right. Now, this is power on power right here. Conan and Rude. Here's Rolling Thunder. Man, I'll tell you what, he's hit that twice today. Oh, look at this. Young. Oh! Opportunity in just a little while. I'm telling you, this pay per view is on fire, y'all. I mean, y'all flapping your gut. Mr. Tree, whoa, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Mr. Tree, Johnny Fairplay, that's me. No, you anywhere. I ain't lying, I'm dying. What's cracking? Listen, you know, the last time I was here, I found I found that clue. It was in your silly, I, it looks good on you, but I, no, honestly, honestly, I listen, I found that clue. If I had known that they were gonna attack me, what? I would I would have turned, okay. I would have. Okay, you're filibuster on me. What can I do for you? I want another chance. I, look, I, I'm begging, I am begging. Whoa! You're like a bordello in New Orleans, what are you doing there? Get on your feet no, there, no, young What are you begging for, please, what do you want? Please, listen, I, I, I wasted all my survivor money on a razor. I mean, like, look, I, 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 I'm here. I, I want one more chance. I, I, I want a chance to be your assistant. Whoa! Slow down, Jack. Jackson Brown. It's been a rough... Okay, you got three hours. I'm gonna give you three hours. You go find two guys, put them on contract, you're back here. How about that? Is that cool? I can do it. I, can do it. I, okay. I swear, I, I've never yeah. lied about well, anything. Well, take your bony ass on out of here and go get them, okay? Th th That's good. Th thank you. You're welcome. No, don't get, get, get back from me, Jack. Who? Lord have mercy. Oh, man. Tonight's your night, man. Look at Johnny Fairplay. Big night. Good luck to both of you, man. It's gonna be cool. You go get him, baby. Okay. Mm, go get him. Okay, I will. Very cool. Good luck to you, baby. Wow, man, what a night this. Oh, come here. Let me sugar you. Come over here, man. Oh, good luck, baby. Go get him. God, somebody's got to do it. Yet to come in Destination X, we will find out which team is going to be victorious and allow either Tracy or Trinity to become the personal assistant 
of the DOA, Dusty Rhodes. Will it be Phi Delta Slam with Trinity, or will it be those Disciples of Destruction with Tracy? And by the way, speaking of the dream, allowing Johnny Fairplay and his Dusty says his bony ass another opportunity in TNA. Oh, look, the of authority is a smart man. He'll give Johnny Fairplay just enough rope to hang. You think with drilling? Oh, you think there's a chance? Are you kidding? I'd like to see that. I think he roasted the opportunity. One on one matchup involving the former X Division champion and a man who has been very successful in previous Ultimate X matches as we see that great camera shot and you see the steel cables high above the ring. We see Chris Saban, who Don in the past has won several oh. of these Ultimate X matches. I believe he's won, what, three of them, yes. I believe? And you've got to realize what's going through his mind right now. He's in that ring, he's aware of that, that X above him. That's got to give him some juice, it's got to give him some fire. And I wouldn't want to be Chase Stevens right there, because you know Chris Saban feels like he should have been in that match. And Christopher Daniels just got him to keep him out of it. Let's address this situation with Chase Stevens, the opponent for Chris Saban. And whoa! Oh my. What a move by Saban! I'm telling you, this guy's one of the greatest athletes I've ever seen at that young of an age. Snap it off with the hurricane run into Saban. Now Saban's gonna fly. Watch this! Oh man! Right onto the concrete floor. Springboard off the top, crashing down into Stevens. There's one for Candido and another one got loose as well. Saban taking on all three. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You and you, and you gotta like his, his fire. Look at this. Wow, man. That's how you do it. He just set himself up, got himself compact, and hit Chase Stevens with the brunt force he could. You know, but at the same time, you can't deny the success that we've seen over the course of the past month, month and a half, with Chris Candido yes. pairing with the Naturals. We've seen him involved with David Young. And realistically, not. It's led to one thing: success for Candido, success for Douglas, success for Stevens. We saw it earlier on the countdown show and the pregame show. Candido and, and Douglas victorious. They've had quite a winning streak on our impact shows as well. Well, Chris Candido was wise. He became a mentor to these guys. He, he knew they were former tag team champions. He knew they were young. He knew they had nothing but, but positives in their, in their future. He got behind them when they needed them. He's used them to his advantage too. It's gone both ways. Well, speaking of advantage, yeah, the three on one situation too much here for Saban to overcome. I mean, it was great when he was on fire, springing off the top, had right hands for Candido and Douglas and Stevens, but now you see three well, on look, one, just too tough a to overcome. And Jay Stevens in the middle of the ring is keeping referee Andrew Thomas from seeing what was going on right there, and that's what they do so well. It's, I feel like it's three on one out there for Saban. Now, he's got the skill, don't get me wrong, but he's gonna have to find an opportunity and get a quick pin, or the numbers game is gonna wear him down. Saban tries to fight back. Right hand of the midsection connects. Now Rockler, series of rights to the side of the head. Saban, shot after shot. Gonna try and shoot him across, but look at Chase Stevens put on the brakes. Fire the oh, ball, oh, man. Nice spin kick right there by Chris Saban. I'll tell you what, he's so good. This former X Division champion, that's a two time oh. That's how you do it. Chase Stevens saw the opportunity and placed the foot perfectly. Yes, Saban committed himself, could do nothing else at that point, and Stevens took advantage. I'll tell you what, Chase Stevens, I'll never forget that steel cage match against America's Most Wanted when he did that somersault off the top of the cage. This guy's a daredevil, this guy's fearless. Right back to the offense goes Stevens. Oh, right into the knee. Look at that, right after another. Inverted backbreaker right across the oh. and pours him down. I'm going to tell you something, Chase Stevens, using his skill and strength right there to get the advantage. And again, Chris, Chris Saban has never been the same since they triple teamed him outside of the ring. Well, you're right. The whole complexion of the matchup has changed since then. Springing off the middle ropes right into the pin two, attempt. No! No, you're not going to get it that easy. You're not going to get it that easy, Chase Stevens. You're going to have to earn it with this kid. Man, this kid, think about it, Mike. How old is he, 22, 23? Yeah, 22, 23 years old. From Hell, Michigan, former X Division champion. Yeah, he's going through some hell right now with that knee in his back. You see Chase Stevens pulling on back of his arms. Think about the 
pain that's got to be going through the shoulders, the pain going through the back right there. Smart move by Saban to get right back up to his feet to try and break the surfboard. A series Ooh. of elbows, but Chase Stevens just grabs two hands full of hair and powers him right down to the canvas. I mean, it's, it's just, not only do you have the pain that flashes through your head when, you, when the, the hair gets pulled, then you get slammed on the mat. It's a double get whammy. Him. Again, Stevens neutralizing Saban at this point. You see Candido at the bottom of the screen. His coach cheering him on. Well, even though Chris Saban is getting beat in there, the smartest thing he can do is stay in the middle of that ring. That way, Andy Douglas and Chris Candido can't interfere. But he's got to somehow get the momentum turned. He's got to get it in his favor. Saban, again, back up to the vertical base. Series of elbows directed towards Ooh, the midsection of the chest. Saban shoved off into the ropes, ducks the clothesline, Ooh. answers with the inverted atomic drop. I'll tell you what, that knee was uh, in response to that foot earlier by Chase Stevens, and now Chris Saban has got to pick his move right there and size it up, but he does. Charges at And him. another one. Connects with a second clothesline. Just dares him to get to his feet, and as soon as he does, charges again. That time Stevens able to duck and avoid the contact. Oh, him no. around. Saban. Didn't avoid that. No, oh, here he goes. Wow. Tornado DDT off the spring. Oh. Count one. Count two. two. Did he get it? No. no. Man, that was close. The look of disbelief on the face of Saban as well as the crowd here at the impact zone. They're as shocked as Saban is. Look at Chris Candido. Oh, right he there. realizes that they barely survived. Oh, man. He is such a feeling of relief. He knows how close it was. And Chase Stevens also saw an opportunity and poked him in the eyes. The shortcut by Stevens. Saban able to reverse. Shoot him off into the ropes. Nice go behind. Stevens got him hammer locked. Oh, Saban reverse. Trying to set him up. Could be cradle shock. Here he got goes. Him up to his shoulder. Oh, look at this. The referee was distracted by Chris Candido. He knew it could have been over. And Andy Douglas came in and took advantage. Oh, that's the teamwork the Nationals are known for. Again, three on one. Odds just too tough. Watch him lay one, back and go two. through. He's got the move. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three. Great counter. Saban did it. How did he do that? You've got to be kidding. Saban did it. And now you see the beat down. These guys are embarrassed. He just beat them one on three. And now they're taking it out on Chris Saban. Oh, Candido. Come on. Douglas. Somebody Stevens. put a stop to this. Putting the boots now to Saban. I think they're just frustrated. Oh, they're embarrassed by they're what went down. Unbelievable counter, though, by Chris Saban. Unbelievable counter. Wait a minute, who's that? I don't know. It's a man in a mask that's hit the ring. He's on fire. Oh, he's just coming in. He's whatever it is. And he's, he's taking, taking care of business. He he's better be that. came at the right time as far as Chris Saban is concerned. And he's awful impressive. Look at the size on him. Here he goes. Look at this. He's gonna fly. Oh, you gotta oh, be kidding. Is he gonna he fly? Oh, my God, God, is he gonna fly? Oh, man. I'd love to know who this is. What's he say? Is he gonna take it off? Gonna take, gonna take the mask off? Oh, yes. my God, it's Shocker. Shocker, he's direct from the McDonald's commercial. That's the same guy you see on television. How many there he is. What a way to make an impact. What a way to make a debut, my God. Shocker, I'm telling you. Now I can see why all the hype about him is true. What a stud, man. Wow. What a debut for Shocker here in TNA. I'll tell you what, just in time for Chris Saban because that beatdown was getting pretty ugly. You know, Don, for months you can't turn on the TV set without seeing that commercial for McDonald's with Shocker where he, he can't fit the Big Mac in and he peels off the mask. I mean, this is one of the true superstars of Lucha Libre from Mexico. Works for the CMLL promotion. Wrestles at Arena Mexico every Friday night in front of 12,000 fans. He's the current NWA light heavyweight champion. And what a debut for Shocker and TNA, my God. You know, we always talk wow. about all the great superstars from the United States, all the great superstars true. in the history of wrestling that want to be a part of TNA. It's not just limited to the United States. It's superstars from all over the world that want to be a part of NWA TNA. And Shocker just proved that right here. Yeah, including him. Don, we talked earlier about so many of the matchups tonight at Destination X. 
revolving around the revenge theme. And certainly the bull rope match with Raven and Dustin Rhodes follows that pattern as well. Well, absolutely. And I'm going to tell you something. Dustin Rhodes is focused on Raven. It's all he's thought about for the last month after what Raven did to him on the last pay-per-view. This is his chance, something that his dad, that his father did, something that he's done, something he's familiar with. The bull rope. He's going to be hooked to that bull rope with Raven. And now Raven can't get out of his sight. Well, you're right. And against all odds, Raven, he quite frankly went over the line. The post-match beatdown on Dustin came after he was had rendered him defenseless. He locked him in a straight jacket. And Raven, the master manipulator, he loves to play the mind game. He's publicly questioned why he should be scared or intimidated by this rematch. You know, he feels that his evil mind has cooked up so many big matches, like Clockwork Orange. Well, one reason that you might consider, Raven, is that you're playing right into the hands of Dustin Rhodes. I'll tell you something, though. Dustin Rhodes is going to have to be on his game. He's going to have to be sharp because we're talking about the diabolical Raven. We're talking about somebody that doesn't think the way normal people think. So it's hard to prepare for. Dustin Rhodes is going to have to rely on his strength. He's going to have to take advantage of every opportunity he has if he wants to come through victorious in this match. You made a great point earlier, Don, because for over 30 years, it's been synonymous with his family. Let's face it, the bull rope match and the Rhodes name, they just fit together. Dusty put it on the wrestling map, and Dustin plans to use it tonight to exact some revenge against Raven. Well, you gotta think advantage Rhodes just because of the of the teacher aspect that he's lived with in his life. The I mean, familiarity that he yes. has with the match. So many bull rope matches that he's had in his 15-year career. And I'll tell you what, keep your eye on that bell in the middle of that rope because it can be used to inflict so much damage. Wait a minute, what's Raven doing right there? He's walking out, not wanting to get tied up. And I'm yeah. telling you what, this match isn't going to go, Raven, until you agree to it. Yeah, for someone, there he goes. For someone who's told us for the past several weeks. But look at what Raven's doing right here. But he's not intimidated. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! What Dustin Rhodes needed to do. That's the way you shorten the distance. Oh, absolutely. You got to bring the fight first, and he brought the fight right to Raven. Wow. Using those steel trenches that are going to be used for Ultimate X Challenge later. I'll tell you what, Dustin Rhodes, what a way to start. And oh, you talked about that weapon, that cowbell right in the middle of the bull rope. Wild swing and a miss by Dustin, and now Raven from the apron. Oh, but look at that. Rhodes just uses his. Leverage that he had on the low ground right there and just pulled Raven right into the rail. Dustin rocks him with the right hand and now Dustin heads back toward the ring. You're gonna try and bring Raven with him. Again, that's one of the great aspects of the bull rope match. From time, he can't run and he can't hide. I'll tell you what though, it can backfire on you too when you need a little distance, when you need to get away, when when the your opponent has got the advantage and you need a little room, that bull rope becomes an albatross. Check this out. Oh, Dustin Rhodes in total control. Great shot with the corner cam. Close-up look at Raven. You know, overall, Raven has a slight experience edge. I think a couple of years over Dustin Rhodes. But as we said earlier, when it comes to experience in this kind of a match, the bull rope match, Dustin Rhodes, oh, he's a master. I'm telling you right now, Dustin Rhodes obviously watched all the tape in the film of the American Dream. Dusty Rhodes in this same exact type match because it's been all Rhodes in this. You know, he not only watched the tape, he was there to watch it live throughout Dusty's career. You know, Dustin was there and a part of this and watch Dustin. Now he's got that rope tied right around the neck of Raven. No, oh, he's just pulling with it with all his worth and choking Raven at the spot that Raven's been familiar with the DNA. This guy's been hung. He's been taking everything but shot, basically, and he can still come back for more. Don't count him out. But Dustin Rhodes wants to do this quick. He wants to embarrass Raven. Yeah, he wants to get some revenge for what happened a month ago when he was locked into a straight Oh, oh and beaten senseless. Well, that was a high-risk move on Dustin Rhodes' part. You know, you've got the advantage, and it's all going your way. I think he got a little greedy when he tried to climb the rope. You've got to know Raven's going to be smart enough with the, the opponent's off balance to use it against him. You said that he wanted to close this thing out and get the victory now. Raven going to introduce a steel chair to the match and now wedging it between the top and middle rope. Well, I'll tell you one thing that Raven does have. He's got the experience of the victory over Dustin oh. Rhodes as he had on the last pay-per-view. And he just set the chair up and 
sent him right into it, and that's what I'm talking about, about the mind of Raven. I'm telling you, you've got to finish him off when you can. You cannot give him any leeway. The momentum, the impact of Dustin Rhodes drove that steel chair out to the Ooh. floor. Raven obviously oh. has further plans, slides it back in, and then using that cowbell repeatedly on the leg and knee of Dustin. I'll tell you what, though, you can see that Raven's hurting. I mean, think of the shots that he's taken already. Oh, but look at this. Oh! The point of the chair right there into the back of the neck. That's just vicious. Oh, no, setting him up right here. This is wrong. Oh, oh my. Man. Dustin's face against the steel chair. Raven drives the elbow down and now heads up to the middle rope. Here he goes. Oh, Dustin Rhodes don't get out of the way just in time. Smart move by Dustin to avoid the contact. I'll tell you what, though. That could have been serious. That oh, could have been a victory for Raven. I'll tell you what, though. If Dustin Rhodes can slam Raven into those steel dresses, I can't fault Raven for using the chair. Oh, look at that. Oh, the rope burn. Think about the rope burn right there. Oh, that hurts. Again, the, the experience factor of Dustin drop down, right hand, momentarily rocks Raven. Dustin right back up to his feet, takes him up. Inverted atomic drop, follow-up move. Is the clothesline off the ropes. I'll tell you what, Dustin Rhodes and Raven, both have been impressive in this, how they've been able to, to fight back against the odds. But right now, I'm just going to tell you, Dustin Rhodes has shown, you can tell he's prepared for this. I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's been on his mind, it's been his focus, and he is putting the game plan to perfection. From the very second that he arrived in TNA, Dustin Rhodes has been talking to about becoming NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. But a little detour in our pay-per-view last month forced him into this situation where he demanded this bull rope match. He's got Raven. Can he go for the bulldog here out of the corner? Uh, you can see there, too. He's got the bell set right up there on the head of Raven. This can be absolute double whammy. Oh, but Raven, again, I think Dustin got a little greedy. He should have just went for it. Raven took advantage of the hesitation and caught his breath. Well, he had a great idea. You're right, the cowbell right in place. He was gonna bulldog him head first right out of the cowbell. I don't think he has Ru no idea that no. Raven's got the steel That's chair. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I don't think he realized it. Oh! oh, we were both wrong. I guess he went for the wild swing. I, maybe not. Maybe he didn't know the chair was there. Oh, Connected man, he's in right pain. Hand. He's in pain. That's the diabolicalness of Raven. Always one step ahead. No! Did you just see that? Dustin Rhodes was ahead, too. He got it! Wow. That's the way you do it. The former WWE Intercontinental Champ, the multi-time WCW US Champ. What's going on right here? And now what? What's Team Canada doing in there? Dustin, playing out Team Canada. Dude, Ralph, this yeah. is wrong. This is ridiculous. The match is over. Well, obviously, Coach Gamora and the Canadians have a game plan, and they're putting it to protection here in the show. And here comes America Buck Wanted. Oh, you can see this heating up again. AFW and Team Canada, boy, you're right, Don. We've seen it in the past, and it looks like we're seeing it again here at Destination X. You see Rhodes and Bobby Roode right there. Look at that. He's walking. Chris Harris takes out of their rounds to put them down. Dustin Rhodes has the chair in hand. He's going to use it. Oh, Team Canada bail. You know, we've seen him as a team before. It's six-man tag team action. AMW to help out Dustin Rhodes against the Canadians. Let's check out this video package detailing the history between Team Tracy and Team Trinity. Man, what's going on? You're doing a great job, I'm telling you, really. Hey, sit down. You too. Hey, sit down. I want to know who you're bringing to TNA. Okay, who you got? You like big guys? Well, yeah, I mean, wrestling. Yeah, I got the two biggest, baddest wrestlers. You are going to be so impressed. Oh, oh, look at it. It. oh sit down, power bomb. That's step one. No, look out. Oh, you got to be kidding. Do not be squared. 370. You can count to a thousand. Somebody check Romeo's pulse. Make sure he's still alive. Team Trinity on the winning track. I got six feet, no seven. Eight feet, guys. They're huge. Eight feet tall. They're eight feet tall. I know you like them big, Dusty. They're huge. You're going to love them. The very interested in observers. Oh, man. Double team move by the Disciples of Destruction. And you know that the big H bomb guarantees them the victory. And here comes Michael the Slam. Here comes Bruno. Here comes Big Kill as well. They might not be as tall, but I'll tell you something. They're just as big or bigger. And they know how to apply the weight. These guys have been together how long? Oh, my goodness. This is 376 pounds from the top. Oh, he went for that holy goalie splash, and he didn't connect. No, I'll tell you what. Because if he connects on that, it's over. The job is Dusty Rhodes' personal assistant. We'll be in state this Sunday at Destiny 
Hey, Dan, don't you miss it. Hey, Dream, where have you been? And... Hey, don't you worry your little head off where he's been. And people say you're an old man. Wipe <laughs> 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 that crap off your face. Oh, <laughs> don't fight. Don't fight. I think it's a tough job somebody's got to do. Since surviving in our final resolution pay-per-view back in January, when Johnny Fairplay was originally eliminated, both Trinity and Tracy have been fined for the job as personal assistant to the director of authority, Dusty Rhodes. You'll recall we just saw it in the package the Dream told him to go on a scouting mission, find a tag team to represent them, and I don't think you could find two more different, two more divergent teams than Tracy and Trinity recruited. Team Trinity, five Delta Slam, straight out of Animal House, 300 pound Bruno on the right, that's 376 of Big Tilly on the left. They told me earlier, not only will the Disciples of Destruction not pass initiation, they guaranteed me Trinity's in as Dusty's personal assistant. Well, you can hear the Disciples of Destruction as they're coming in on the choppers. These are gonna be the most weight out of four guys we've ever had in the ring at one time. Man, well, you said it right. Maybe a completely different look than Five Delta Slam. Yet if you think about it, Don, a very similar mindset. Big R, heavy D, the Disciples of Destruction. And just like their opponents tonight, Five Delta Slam, you can expect a straight ahead offense. They're gonna rely on the power game. You're not gonna see either of these teams try to out finesse their opposition. It's all about exploiting the size. It's about exploiting the strength. It's not often that you see the Disciples, both of them, six five, 300 pounds, where they're giving away weight in the match, but that's the case tonight. Well, it really is, and like, like we said earlier, what Phi Delta Slam gives up in height, they make up for in width, you know what I mean? And let me tell you something, don't let their wide bodies fool you. This team is very agile for their size. That's what makes them such a destructive force. And they're gonna have to be because they're going up against the DOD. Now, I'll tell you this. Well, you know what? You would think that the Disciples of Destruction have the experience edge. But how long? But, but they don't have that much of one because Five Delta Slam have been together a long time. Well, I'll agree with you there. Disciples of Destruction go through the years. I think you can make an argument that they've been in more high-profile matchups than Five Delta Slam. But at the same time, Think of the, the mindset for the Disciples of Destruction when they look across the ring and they see the size of these, these two guys. Bruno in there now, 300 pounds, tags in, 376 of Big Tilly. And when he comes off the top rope with that holy gully splash. Oh, I'm telling you right now, it's, a, it's amazing that the ring holds up. I mean, this guy's so melt. But I'm not like I said, look how agile he is. He goes right after Heavy D. I think that's one of the things that we've really been surprised about. You mentioned it earlier. The athletic ability, the agility of Phi Delta Slam for two guys their size. I'll tell you what, when he goes off the rope, the whole place shakes. Oh, man, good boot right there. Now here comes Big R. Oh. Now that's oh. strength right there. That is strength. Look at the aggressiveness. Oh, man. The Disciples of Destruction have turned this thing in their favor. We said it earlier, both teams are going to have to rely on the power game, and that's exactly what we've seen in the opening minutes. Well, you can see right now, Five Delta Slam, I mean, let's watch this, watch this attitude, and he just takes him over. Big R charging at Big Tilly. I mean, he caught his head right there on the bottom. You can see right there as Trinity goes over and see if he's okay. I guess when you got a skull that thick, you can, you can handle a lot more than normal people. A little bit of regrouping here by Phi Delta Slam. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, obviously the DOD is not intimidated in any way. I mean, look at this. Look. Big R showing no yeah. effect. No. Bruno trying to drive in face first into that top corner turnbuckle. And Big Teal in as well, laying in those big right hands. Well, wouldn't you hate to be the referee in this match? I mean, you're not going to get in the middle of these guys to punch it up.
advocating for the DOD, the disciples of destruction. This brutal sent out to the floor. Right hand is a wake up call for Big Tilly. Well, you can see referee Andrew Thomas telling him he can't come into the ring right there. He's got to go out. He's not the legal man. Oh, and while he's doing that, Heavy T just leveled Big or Bruno on the other side over here. Look at that. Just leveled him. Let's see if we can get a shot of that where you couldn't see it. It was off camera. Watch this. Here it was. Oh, caught him with the chair. Boy, great. Just flattened him. You're right. Great job by the guys in the truck, as well as our great camera crew around ringside, catching all of the action as you saw the steel chair come into play. And now the disciples, now they're really in the driver's seat. Well, I was going to say, with these two, it's just like riding a bike or like riding a chopper. It all comes back to them as the DOD. You can tell the familiarity that they have wow. with each other in the ring. And right now, Boy, they they're have, in total control. And they have Bruno very wobbly, as you saw there. Well, I mean, they're just such an, an opposing force. I mean, look at it. Bruno going to try and overpower him, shoots him off into the ropes. Look at this, Trinity up. Oh, I tell you what, though, she sacrificed herself, and Bruno used it to his advantage. Wow, that's what a pal he does, and I'm telling you what, he did it right. Now Big Till has the advantage. Right into the steel. Send him into the guardrail, and again, remember, whoever has the winning team, Tracy or Trinity, gets that job as Dusty Rhodes' personal assistant. And you can see it becomes kind of a little cat fight there between Trinity and Tracy. Both oh, a little, little, little jealousy. Oh little yeah, friction. they're vying for the affection of the team, of the director of authority. Big Tilly in with the big boot. <laughs> And now the complexion of this match has swung in the favor of Phi Delta Slam, and Trinity's got to be happy about that. Again, it was her involvement that allowed Tilly and Bruno to take over. Watch the double team. And that's great teamwork right there, and that's how you do it. Just one right after another. That's what makes these guys so good as a tag team. They're so big, they're such a load, that it wears you out going against them. You know, it's the immovable object against the irresistible force with these four. Now, Bruno going to try and fire him off and does into the corner. Tag into Tilly. I'll tell you what, it's very essential that these guys have quick tags. I'm talking about my Delta Slam. Keep them from being rented. It's a great move and they do it so well together. It really is the key to success if you think about it. And again, you see them employing just that strategy that you talked about. The quick tags keeping the fresh man in and at the same time not allowing either one to get winded. Double team move. Oh, Heavy D has got to get a tag into his brother right now. I'm telling you what. These guys are wearing him out, but you can see him fighting back. Good kicks, good rights. But, oh, he walked right over. He was kind of dizzy. It looked like he didn't know where he was. I think dizzy and blinded at the yes. same time and went to the wrong side of the ring where Tilly caught him with the right hand. Heavy D charges. Oh, what a move right there by Bruno. Perfectly placed knee. Oh, look at this. He's got the leg hook.
I'm telling you, these guys are exhausted. You can see it out there. And Powered him down with the Larry. Oh, big R wants in there so bad right now. You can see him out to the road. He's the fresh man, and he would be the freshest of the four. That's right. And here he goes. This could be the difference in the match. Oh! Oh! One right after another. Man, the aggressiveness of this guy tonight. It's just what we anticipated. Big R coming in. He's been on the ring apron for several minutes. He unloads. Let's watch the disciples with his oh. Six-man tag team champions. You like you like that? Yeah, I like that. Yes. that Johnny Fairplay, AMW, Dustin Rhodes. So I'll be your manager. Like, <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. Manager, huh? Do you guys have a manager? No. See, it'd be perfect. You would. You, 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 you like? You it? want to manage us? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I think we uh, need to make him do the test. Test. The test. The test. The test. The test. The, test. the, test. the survivor <laughs> test. Yep. Do like, like 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 immunity challenge? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. like Survivor Dude, challenge. I am so good at those. If you can pass it, buddy. Yeah. Hey. Shoot, Andrew, you ready? <laughs> yeah. All right, get down on the floor. Get down on the floor. There you go. Oh, this is weird. Get down. Get down. This is weird. You ready? Here we go. I don't know. Oh, no, no. I don't know. There's not a No. Get down. 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 Get Without and within. He can't play Monty Brown. No, he's he's taking it out it. into his own hands. He possesses the power to shatter illusions. Wait a minute, though. Look into the ring. Alter futures. There he is. Create new worlds. Out of nowhere, Triton's in the ring. I'm scared. And his desire for certain pleasures is part of his pain. He stays one step ahead of the alpha male. He's coming. You will be executed, exterminated, 
look at the streak and bam, oh, move right after another. Moves that you normally see from the former NFL player Monty Brown, those series of powerful shoulder blocks in the corner. And now we're seeing Triton use them against the Alpha Man. Monty Brown right now has no answer for any of the questions that he's had. None, but that's one right there. Got the boot up, let the momentum carry. And now he's gonna use his strength. And again, when we talked about it, look at that strength of Monty Brown. We saw him pick up Brian Cox and slay him over his shoulder like it was nothing. That's how you bring him down to size. Oh, man, I spoke too early. Got him choked up and choked him right down to the mat. Triton gonna roll him over and go for the quick pin. Got one, got two, no. Uh, as he should have applied all of his weight, I think he was just trying to show the world how strong he was, but let me tell you something, Monty Brown's got 0% body fat. You're not gonna pin him half-heartedly, I can tell you that. You saw Monty Brown try to execute a game plan just seconds before that choke slam. You saw him try and work on the leg and the knee of Triton in an effort to get him down on the mat so that he can't exploit the size advantage. Shoved off into the ropes. Oh, what a right right there. Rocked him with one right. Close line again, but you can't take this big guy down. bring him down. He's in incredible shape. Look at that great kick right there by Monty Brown. It still didn't put him down. Drop kick connects by the alpha male, as does the right hand. Look and a series of knife edges. Oh, my. They're wicked. No! Look at the speed. He just did it effortlessly. Got him up to his shoulders. But Monty Brown finds a way to land on his feet. We talked about reactions. We talked about the improbability of Monty being so oh, important. Look at the strength of Monty Brown. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. He took him overhead with the slam. Man. A 300 plus pounder, and he tossed him halfway across the ring. I'll tell you what, that was impressive. That's got to get to the mind of Triton. No way. Oh, he, was, he was just going to go for the pounds, and the lights went out again. How many times have we seen this when Triton's been involved? What's going on right here? What in the world's going on? There's some masked man in the ring. I mean, Monty Brown's going to be thinking, what? I just, oh, man. What a pounce. This is ridiculous. He just pounced whoever this masked guy is. Oh, the Triton, though, showing how diabolical he can be. Referee Rudy Charles oh, is going to... got to count him out. The three count. The Triton finds a way to avoid the bounce. The lights go out just as the alpha male was going to hit the pounce. Where's Triton? Bonnie Brown looking. You can see the shock look. Oh, uh, he was just so caught up in the motion, and now he realizes... He had him set up. The he had, had a is. chance. Look at those eyes. Triton, once again, stays one step ahead of the alpha male, Monty Brown. I'll tell you what, perfect timing on his part. Just as Monty Brown was getting ready to level him with the pounce, the lights go out. He's got a backup plan who takes the pounce for him. Man of mystery remains even more mysterious now that we've seen him make his TNA debut here at Destination X. Now, let's send it to Shane Douglas at the locker room of Diamond Dallas Page. Jeff Jarrett. Mm. The king of the mountain. Mm. The chosen one. Mm. Living on planet Jarrett. You know what? I kind of like it. Mm. Tonight, to the NWA Heavyweight Champion of the World. And welcome back, everyone, to the Impact Zone. Welcome back to Destination X. Fight today, Don West at ringside. And Don, after seeing Triton in action against the Alpha Male Monty Brown, we really don't have any more questions answered. Well, I'll tell you what we do have answered is the fact that the cunning of Triton, as he knew that that pounce could end it for him. He's coming in, he's making his debut. He's one pounce away from being gone. He had a backup plan when it was coming. He had somebody to come in and take it for him. True. You know, earlier we saw a rematch from Against All Odds involving Raven and Dustin Rhodes. We're about ready for another return match from that pay-per-view, and it's going to be the final assault. Let's get ready for Jeff Hardy to go one-on-one -on -one with the Monster Abyss. Crazy situation earlier. They've got it resolved. We're ready, Falls Count Anywhere. Oh, 
bring him off the chair, crashing down onto Abyss, and now he sends him face first into the steel steps. I'm gonna tell you something, I don't know how these guys do it, but I wouldn't want to be either one of them with this match, when this match is over with, because these two are all about destruction. Anything and everything that's not nailed down is gonna be used, and you see how quickly the momentum can change as the Monster Abyss is now in control, and they're already headed out of the building. Wow, momentum change in a heartbeat, just like that as we see Abyss now following. Well, good luck with the camera crew as well. You see security, you see the crowd here at the impact zone. I'll tell you what, this thing could end in the middle of the aisle of adventure. <laughs> We're gonna try and follow this the best we can. Action spilling towards the, the backstage area. And again, the, the lighting back there. Yeah, it's not exactly the best, but you can't contain. We knew the impact zone wasn't going to contain them. No, the cameramen are just going to do everything they can to get out there and follow this action. Looks like they're looks like they're outside towards the possibly that catering oh, area. Wow! Right into the right into the just tossed you right into right that, that door. You can see the trailer on that side. You can see where we had our catering set up earlier. Abyss looking for somewhere to put Jeff Hardy through, and you can tell. Well, what happened to our cameraman? Abyss slammed that door and the cameraman, Oops. I think, went down. Oh, he, you know, he doesn't care about being on camera. He just wants to do all kinds of destruction that he can. Well, that's hazardous duty pay for the cameramen that have to follow Abyss and Jeff Hardy. Wherever they go, it's legal, it's false count anywhere. And it really couldn't have been more perfectly named final assault. Let's watch Hardy fight back. Oh, he's got to. He's got a little bit of a lull there to catch his breath, but Abyss doesn't even stop. Look at this, what's he doing? Taking another table? Whatever his game plan is, you see Hardy laid out, you're right, Doc, positioning a second table as Hardy gets right back up to his feet. I'll tell you what, Hardy, we know, can think on his feet quickly, too, and you can see the crowd hanging out outside, all looking over the top right there, wanting to get first-hand look at the action going on. I think this is a combination. Some of the fans came from inside the impact zone and went out to watch this. I understand that also some of the other fans out there are part of the turn away crowd. That's You're right. right, they were turned away. They could not get inside. What, wait a minute, what in the world is Jeff Hardy doing? He's got a piss on the table right now. No way! He's going up to the top, the crux right there are those Look steel at this. girders. You gotta be kidding. No way! No way! Hardy! Look out below! Wow! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I mean... Can we see it again? Is there any way, guys? Check this out. Different angle. Watch this. Look out! Look at the charismatic oh. enigma, and I'm telling you something. That is just flat out crazy. We thought it was wild last month at Full Metal Mayhem, and we're gonna take another look here. Final yeah. assault specialty, look at Hardy. Oh, oh Swanton's just right off the top, catches his back right on Abyss, slams it through the table, and he uses the other table to kind of cushion his blow. Well, there's absolutely no limits when it comes to the, the moves these Swanton's and Hardy. Remember the one last month we talked earlier, pin attempt outside, Rippery Thomas puts in the count, and it was a near fall. But Hardy we, almost pinned him. We call certain moves high risk, but let me tell you oh. something, that takes high risk to another level. That takes high risk to a, a point it should never be taken. Oh, again, right into that wall. And you can see the turnaway crowd, the crowd that couldn't get in. They're getting a little piece of the action. That's why they hung around, because they knew this thing could go anywhere. Big right hand to the side of the head, rocks Hardy. And I think the momentum from the blow actually sent him back towards the door as Hardy and Abyss come back inside the backstage area at the impact zone. And again, hang in there with us, folks. We're in the same situation as you back there. It's balls count anywhere. What a brawl this has been. I'll tell you something. You know what, Mike? Nobody wins a match like this. You just survive a match like this. Oh, my God. And right now, Hardy is on the receiving end of Abyss's fury. Oh, just tossed him right into the steel, right the side of the, of the bleachers, the seating area of the impact zone. Holy shit! Oh, look at this right here. You can see Abyss. What's he doing now? Oh, caught him right on the rail. Yes! He watched him directly across that steel guardrail. Follows up with a big right hand that just knocks him right down to the arena floor. Think about the mental state of Jeff Hardy right here. He's just doing one of the most bold, one of the most daring moves in the history of wrestling, and it wasn't enough. 
Now he's got to think to himself, what can I do? What can I do to topple this giant? It was certainly high risk, but Don, there wasn't the reward there for Jeff Hardy that he expected when he went for that incredible swanton move. Steel chair, one toss into the ring, and now Abyss brings another with him. I'll tell you what, you've got another chair right there in the hands of Jeff Hardy. Did you see? These guys are just trying to find Remember ways to punish Remember when we talk about the tunnel vision yes. of Abyss? You're yeah. seeing Exhibit A right here. He's totally forgot about Jeff Hardy, and here he comes! Oh, and he uses his feet to kick the chair right into a man! That's yeah. how you come back! You're right, he just drop kicked the steel chair right into the monster Abyss, and the tunnel vision of Abyss certainly hurt him that time. Just to get even more force on that chair, just to get more force. I thought he was just gonna slam it into his head. Ooh, but the boot of Abyss, I'm telling you, this guy is unreal. Hardy tried to overpower Abyss, went for the clothesline, didn't take him down, and then Abyss was able to connect with the boot. Oh, now look, what's, what's Abyss doing? No, no, this could... This could end it right here, as you see, he's putting Steel. that chair right on top of him. Right, steel chair position across the chest of Hardy. Oh, no. Again, keep in mind, oh, no. this is 350 oh, pounds. Oh, no! Look at the impact as far as Abyss is concerned, oh. as well as Hardy. Oh, my gosh, I hope that you've taken the children out of the room. They don't need to see this. Think of the power. Someone oh. 350 pounds coming off the middle rope, pressing down to count one. Count. Oh my gosh, how did Hardy kick out of that? Believe Can we take another one? Yeah, crush ribs. Look at the impact. What he crushes. Look at that. 350 pounds flat on top of you. Factor in the steel chair sandwich between them. And I'm, oh, no. I'm, I'm amazed that Hardy was able again. to kick out. He's gonna do it again. This time off the ropes. Oh. Oh. Hardy though, not gonna fall for it twice. What's the old saying? Yeah, fool, fool me once. once. Yeah, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Oh, he caught him at the top of that chair too. Wild swing by Hardy and yes, he connects. Brutal, stiff chair shot to the top of Abyss's head. He's got him measured for another one. Why not? Oh, and he catches it a second time, and he just falls down like a tree in the forest. Ten, one, two, no! Wow. Oh, I thought that was going to be enough. I did, too. You know, it's spring training down here in Florida, but Hardy just hit a grand slam homer with that second chair shot, but no, Abyss able to avoid the three count. Wow. I'll tell you what, what these guys have in mind is you see Hardy, he's looking anywhere that he can find any kind of a weapon. Anything that can be used. As he goes to every single side. Hey, circling, oh. circling the six-sided ring. To find out what weapon might be under there that he can use against the monster of this. What is he going to do? Oh, he's got another chair. I'll tell you what, he shows you the links. That he'll go to find anything. Go. Oh, another shot right there. You hear the thud? Unbelievable. Jeff Hardy thinking to himself. He's got some game plan yeah, here. He's got something in mind. We talked about the tunnel vision here it of is. Abyss earlier. What in the world is this? A ladder! What? He's pulling out a ladder! We saw the he's ladder. there by Hardy. He went to every spot he could, found the chair of the one, just to hold the miss off enough. He knew that ladder was positioned there. He gets to it, and now he's going up high. But Abyss is back up to oh, his no. feet. And it Abyss and Hardy, long. both climbing up the ladder, Hardy trying to fight him off. Right hands to the side. Oh, man, Abyss connected with a big right. This could be dangerous, folks, I'm telling you. Oh, nice shot right there. It's Jeff Hardy. Slams Abyss's head on the top of the ladder. What's he gonna do? You know, Hardy is known throughout his career oh. for being in incredible matches involving things like this ladder. Look at this! Is he gonna spring over and look out? Yeah! Oh, what a shot by Jeff Hardy! That's what I'm talking about! It was, yeah. it was what I anticipated! Yeah. Yeah. When I saw him up and down, count two! No! Oh my God! Think about the force we've got! We gotta that. see it. Keith Mitchell, Look Mike at Miller, this. show us this. Yes. Oh my, what a leg drop. But only a two count. 
only a near fall after this? <laughs> Jeff Hardy's got to be thinking, what on earth do I have to do? I've come off from 30 feet above him. I've gone over the top of the ladder. But Abyss, oh no. Went for the twist of fate. He thought it was torturing. Oh, man. Drop down, backbreaker. Come on. on. Here's two. two. No. Not yet. Hardy fights out of it. And it's still life left in the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. I'll tell you what an effort by both of these guys. But Jeff Hardy's laying there thinking to himself. I can't do much more. The Monster Abyss always seems to have an answer for him. Perfectly named, Final Assault. Abyss and Hardy to settle it once and for all. Hardy shot up in the hole. Oh, great move right there by Hardy. Rolls him up. One, two, Hardy got it. Did he get it? Oh, no, I thought no. he had it. No, you has got to be kidding. He had a three count. Not according to referee Andrew Thomas, and that's the only person that matters. Wow, that was close, Mike. Frustration evident. Hardy puts the boots to Abyss. Gonna head out to the top again. Gonna go high risk again. Is it gonna pay off? Oh, no, no Abyss. He just took too much time. and Cut him off. I'm gonna tell you something. Mentally, what's gonna be going through his mind right now. In his mind, it was over. In his mind, he had him. And somehow, Abyss just got his shoulder up in time. And that seems almost to have revived Abyss now at this point. Oh, where's he gonna go for down here? Oh, I mean, like I said, they're the just ring. looking for anything but the kitchen sink. Yeah, anything that's not nailed down, you know they're gonna use it because it's legal. Falls count anywhere, final assault, party in Abyss, and again, Abyss has got that case of tunnel vision. I mean, there's just not that much more that these guys can do to each other. And I can't imagine there could be many more weapons underneath the ring. Well, he's got one right there in his hand. Got him a table, it's obviously caught on something, but Abyss now pulls it out. Hardy, just trying to regroup, just trying to get back up to his feet in the ring. Think of the fatigue that these guys are already going through. Yeah, but they're fighting through the fatigue, Don, in an effort to show the world that they're the better man, that they're the better wrestler, that they're the better brawler. I'm gonna tell you something, you gotta give both of them credit for the things that they've gone through, the fact that they're still standing, the fact that they're still thinking clearly, that they're still planning is unbelievable. And right now, Jeff Hardy, if he's smart, he's catching his breath, but he's keeping an eye on Abyss at all times. I'm not sure how clear Jeff Hardy's yeah. mind is at this point, however. Ah, uh, you're right, as you saw right there, Abyss grabs him, pulls him on, and Hardy right now is probably relieved to be laying on something. His mind's just not clear enough to realize that it's a dangerous place. And you wonder if Hardy has any idea in his mind that Abyss is making his way first to the apron and now climbing up the corner. Oh, and from yes. the top row, Hardy did have an idea, and he comes right back as well. I'll tell you what he did do, though. He just kind of let Abyss think that Abyss had it set in stone that he was going to win it, and now Hardy. Hardy's now going to the top. This is crazy. Oh, he's fighting. He uses that, that steel dress that they're going to use. Oh, man. But Attempt, Abyss, attempted to hurt. Oh, no. no. Again. It's roll that replay. Look at this. You can see he tried it. He just didn't have enough gas. And then Abyss used the momentum and just sent it through. He's lucky his head didn't hit that ladder. Watch how close it comes. Oh, oh they might have hit it. I don't know. And we are back no, live. A little short. Yeah, yes, the, the bodies laid out in the ring. Jeff Hardy appears to be knocked out. Oh, Abyss, he's look, he's alive. Abyss clearing the furniture out of the way. We knew it was going to be brutal, but we had no idea. Both of these guys are in pain. Every move they do are such risky maneuvers that you're going to take your own punishment when you do them. Because you're coming at such high angles and you're hitting blunt objects like they are. Oh, Abyss, look and see him just getting bolted up right here. He can feel it. He knows the end is near, and Hardy's just showing some heart and some guts. Yeah, no intimidation on the part of Hardy trying to fight back, but those punches have no, a, no. a zero effect. Not on top of the ladder. There's just no way. Oh, Hardy fights it back. Yo! He caught him with the twist and sent the monster into the steel. One, One two, two, did he get it? against the odds of the height and the power of a bitch. 
using every trick in the book. Incredible effort oh, by both of these individuals. And now the monster abyss gonna try and exact a little revenge. Well, we talked about it not necessarily being a winner, but a survivor. And abyss is embarrassed. He knows that somehow Jeff Hardy caught him. And Jeff Hardy gains the victory, gets the one, two, three on the I monster. Mean, this abyss, is crazy. This match is over, Mike. It's over. Not in the mind of Abyss, it isn't. Oh, come on, what now? What could be left under there? Oh no! That better not be what I think it is. Could it? I mean, God. Oh no, this is just wrong. Oh, think about it. We've seen somebody Abyss with this with this bag before, and every time we've seen it, it contains thousands of thumbtacks. But Hardy doesn't see it. Hardy has no idea. He's just oh, given no. everything he's got. No. Come on. We've, oh, come on. When is enough enough? Never in the mind of the monster. Oh, Hardy, again trying to fight back from his knees. Oh, no, Abyss, though, has the momentum right here. Hardy spent his last breath getting the pin. Why oh, no, no! Black Hole Slam! No! Not just Hardy! Right into the tag! Not just any Black Hole Slam, but he just took Hardy into the air and powered him down. Back for the Look back. at his back! The oh, back. this is wrong! Oh. Look at the... Oh, come on! Look Stop at, this look at the puncture marks! The blood flowing out of the back of Jeff Hardy! We need help! Stop this madness! That was just too much! The match was over! Look at the gas! That, that the tells it all! The, the looks on the faces of the crowd here at the Impact Zone tells the entire story! My God! Unbelievable! We're gonna try and regroup at the Impact Zone. Let's see what's going on at the DOA's office. Let's send it outside. Look at that bat! Oh, brutal. Johnny Fairplay, Survivor. I'm, I'm big in Canada. Anyway, I need a favor. A huge favor. Excuse me. A huge favor. I need a tag team so bad, like, the time is running out. I mean, by the way, you got five guys here. I just need two. I'll split the money with you, 60, 40, whatever. We'll work it out later. Hey! The only thing you're gonna do is take that flag off your shoulder, punk. All right, all right, we'll talk about it later. I mean, that's, that's fine. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait! You love this one! Yeah, wait, ready? Oh, Canada, da, 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 da.
yourself the outlaw, son. I'll eat you up for lunch like old-fashioned coleslaw. Now, what are you going to do about that? I'm talking about a taco and a burrito, right? I told you how he is. Don't be trying to get I'm tired of it. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Leave this alone. Here comes Kevin Nash! As he comes bringing it in! A right there for the outlaw! A right for the tab! Now the stage has been set down! Two sights precious to a man. Desire in a woman's eyes, fear in a man's eyes. I see fear in your eyes. Don't mistake fear for hatred. It is just all broken loose right here! You see that? This is unbelievable! Listen, guys. No, 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 no. What I want to know is what were you talking about? Old times? Just old times time. what? It's called an effect. Right. Effect. It calls. Right. First blood, baby. First blood. You got it. And it'll be yours. I don't think so. Take care. And the outlaw looked him right back and said, no, you see hatred. 
The feelings between these two have come to that point. Oh, what a move right there by the outlaw. What a move as he just pulled Nash down and then just slammed the knees. The knees that have had so many surgeries. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was heartless. But he had to get the momentum and he's doing it again for a third time. And Nash screams with pain every time. Get a camera on his face. Look at that. You can see him writhing in it. The pain in it. As he just worked the legs right there. Nothing is going to stop the outlaw if he keeps this up. It really is such a sound strategy, though, for the outlaw. You mentioned earlier, Don, those so many knee surgeries that Kevin Nash has had. Oh, oh it just hurt again. Knowing what he's gone through. Knowing that. Oh, Mike, it's just painful to watch. Just wrapping the leg and the surgically repaired knee on so many occasions of Kevin Nash right around that steel support. You can see right now the outlaw looking for something right there. What, what could be left underneath the ring <laughs> oh, after well, what we what is just that? saw with Jeff Hardy and Abyss? Some kind of a toolbox. Oh, no. He's looking for something. There it is. He's got a screwdriver. Something to bring the blood out right away. Again, take this first blood. Simple rules. You bleed, you lose. Oh, oh just my. in time, Nash gets the hands up. And look at the force the outlaws apply. Oh my gosh, if he slips, that can end it. Oh man, that is a scary sight, my friend. Just inches above the head. Of oh the no. Think of how close oh. it is to his eyes. Oh, this is just brutal right here. Just an inch. It's so close. Nash no. ready for everything that he's got. Such a power. It's such a great camera close up at the same time. You see Kevin Nash, the desperation moves and they pay off. I'm telling you, what? One slip and he was you know what right there. Unbelievable. Nash able to fight that off. That is just nothing but survival instincts. Outlaw. Back up to his feet, thanks to Nash, who drives him right back down to the canvas with a big overhand right. Now oh, what's Nash going to do? Oh, he's going to do whatever he can to get the advantage of momentum. Oh, fires him right over the top of the rope. What a catapult by the big seven-footer, Kevin Nash, took the outlaw and tossed him way over the top down to the floor. Well, you can see the outlaw right there checking his head as he hit the concrete. Checking his head to make sure he wasn't busted open. I mean, that's what you want to worry about. This could do it. You may have the advantage. But if something happens and you crack open, it's just over. And oh, look at this. First, he sends him face first into the steel guardrail. Then again, directly into that steel support. Lucky landed on the mat right there. And now, what's Nash looking for as he reaches and grabs a chair? I don't know if there's enough chairs left in the building after what we've seen today. Between Raven and Rhodes, between Hardy and Abyss, and now these guys. With the referee trying to get involved, taken out of jail. I mean, my gosh, he just had a screwdriver in there. Don't try to mess this up, you're gonna get yourself hurt. And it was that momentary delay when senior official Rudy Charles grabbed onto the steel chair that allowed the outlaw to come back wild shot, but it connected, and down goes Nash. I'll tell you what, that cost Nash right there. And I know the referee is trying to take control of this match of, of, of some sort, but I'll tell you what, when you got two guys that are looking for blood, you don't want to get in between them. This could do it. I mean, a shot with this steel chair as the outlaw measures Nash, who's up. Oh, oh, oh God! I think he may have just got his hands up in time to push him the ball. I'm not sure. I don't know. If he didn't, it's over. I mean, he caught him hard. Nash down, referee trying to check to see. He's telling him to roll him Nash over. Nash is bleeding. Referee Rudy Charles checking. What does he see? Anything? Said it's okay. We're still gonna go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I do think he barely got him up in time. If that would have hit him flush, that could have done it. Check this out. Oh, no. Outlaw headed to the corner. For a second there, it looked like he was gonna try and take one of those turnbuckle pads off and expose the steel. Now what's he got? Who knows, he's back to the toolbox. Oh, it looks like a pair of pliers. Yeah, some wire cutters. Oh, there you go. Whatever he can do to get that turnbuckle off, that's exactly what he's doing. That's one way to do it, he's got that pad. 
and he's going to use those wire cutters to take the cover off and expose that steel. Oh, man, look at that. He's going right into both sides of it. Now he's got it exposed. And think of what could happen if he's able to send him into that exposed steel. I told you, the referee trying to do take control of this, but it doesn't work. Oh, Nash trying to fire the outlaw into it. But the outlaw fights back. Right hands to the jaw. Nash able to reverse. Oh, he gets it. the boot up! And he caught him with that big boot. And think about it, he gets the boot up all the way to, this, to the guy's head. Though. I mean, that's getting your foot up to what? Six foot six or however tall the outlaw is. Up to the shoulder with this bow. Oh, I think he was going to go for that snake oh, eyes move. Right Instead, into the collision, contact made with the official. Oh, oh Nash said head first right into the exposed steel. Oh, I'll tell you what, he caught him perfectly on it. I don't know if he's looking to see if he busted him open. Now he's trying to do anything he can to break the skin. As you see, blow after Whoa. blow, nice low blow right there by Nash. Anything that you can do to stop the outlaw's momentum. Doesn't look, doesn't appear to me no. like Kevin Nash is bleeding yet. The referee is out right now. He's done everything he can to try to, to keep this thing fair, but he just got in the way. I told you, you can't stay in the way. How can you try and maintain a semblance of order in a take this first blood match? I just say turn him loose. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're almost, if you're the ref, you hope it happens quick so nobody gets too hurt. Oh, look at this, Nash. Oh, right on top of it. Let's see if it happened. The snake eyes move in the corner by Nash. Did it draw blood? He picks the outlaw up. Not yet. Going to take him up to his shoulder. Going to go for it a second time. Oh! Dropped him across that exposed steel. And Nash now. I don't know if we opened him up with the shot in the corner or he's going to try and do the job with his fist. Oh, he's showing it right there. I think he's got it. There you see the blood of the outlaw across it. the knuckles, and across the fist of the Nash. The referee's down. The referee hasn't seen it. But Nash has drawn the blood. Now, referee Rudy Charles has been knocked out. He was unconscious out on the floor from that contact minutes ago. Wait a minute. Jim oh, Jared, oh, Jared, Jared just catches him. Come on. with the NWA title belt. Now, what, what, who's this? Well, it's, it's attorney Dagger for one thing, and it... Oh, wait a minute, this guy's wiping it off! Oh, he's, come on! He's trying to clear the blood off of the face of the outlaw. Oh, this isn't right! This isn't right! Nash drew first blood! Nash drew first blood! Yeah, but the referee was... Look at this! Oh, he's what looking he at it! It looks like, like he's... A Dr. Pat thing going on right here. He's got some new skin or some kind of a styptic to try and stop the bleeding. Well, the referee's still out, so he hasn't seen it yet. We haven't officially known if the blood has come from the hand of Nash, but we know it has as we can see it bleeding right there. Look, look, how, the referee, yeah, look oh. how pleased Attorney Daggard is. Oh, Jeff this is, Jarrett's this right legal what team. He wants. Jeff Jarrett's legal staff and you're right, obviously, someone dressed here in a, in a doctor's coat who's applying some pressure to the cut. Oh, this is just not right. This is just not right as he's trying to show him that, hey, oh, come on. Daggard seems thrilled. Oh, Matt, you, yeah. oh, no, Jeff Jarrett busted Kevin Nash open with the belt. Hit him right in the head with the NWA title. Oh, they're just so pleased with themselves. Referee's still down and out. Hasn't seen what's going on as you see Nash now coming to us. So I don't even know if he realizes he's busted open. Referee Charles oh, he's out going to check down on the condition. I mean, he sees oh, he sees the ball. And he calls oh, wait, him down. Come on. Oh, this is just wrong. Nash is robbed by the world champion, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, the outlaw snuck one by. Had the game plan, look at this! Oh, look at Kevin Nash come right back on the outlaw! Right hand, after right hand, has the outlaw rocking! Oh, he's gonna do every can to bust the window, but he can't believe the way this thing ended, he can't believe it! We have just witnessed a miscarriage of justice because of Jeff Jarrett, his legal staff, the physician that came out, 
Kevin Nash, he's getting his payback now. First blood or no first blood? Oh, absolutely, I'll tell you what. He might not, well, he actually did get first blood. He's also planning on getting last blood. Oh! Went for the jackknife powerbomb. Drove him down, but the loss of blood from Kevin Nash, he just went down in the well, heat not the same the, 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 the torque that Outlaw put on his knee earlier. I mean, just think of everything that he went through. And plus, he's dizzy from the, the shot from the belt. Coming up next at Destination X, get ready. The Ultimate X Challenge. Great qualifier, 
and Daniels proved that he definitely belongs. Not many people get a second chance. This guy's got one. Let's see what he can do with it. But Mike today, if there's ever been a champion in the history of NWA DNA, it's this man. because it's already been positioned above the ring. But yes, he's the champ, the defending title holder, and we are set for three levels of X Division action. Tag team, three-way, and then if the ultimate X itself. A lot of people may be thinking, well, why are Daniels and Skipper team together when they start off the tag team? Let's face it, they can't be team together. The director of authority de decreed that. Said, uh uh, when they launched that steel cage match to AMW, they had to split up. Thus, you see Prime Time with AJ Styles, Ron the Truth Killings with Christopher Daniels. And let me tell you something, you've got to work together with your partner. You've got to make sure that one of the two of you aren't pinned. Once that happens, it becomes a three way dance. And then when it gets to two, you go for the belt at the top of the wire, but I'm gonna be interested to see how Elix Skipper and Christopher Daniels react to each other in that ring. Well, you're not kidding. That is gonna be something very interesting to see. Don mentioned it. When they lost to America's Most Wanted, the Six Sides of Steel match, it was about where the losing team had to disband. They could never wrestle as a tag team again. And you mentioned it earlier, Don, that's the reason why we see the pairings that we do in this tag match. I'll tell you what, Skipper, now they, they, these two, you know, I've always thought about how these two react to each other in the ring, and you can see they're We're almost weird images, and wow! Ron the Truth Killings coming right off the top and catching with the drop kick. Missile, drop kick off the top, definitely connects. Truth gonna take him up to the shoulder. I'll tell and you what, what an ass. Oh! Slam. Running power slam by Killings. Now, I'll tell you what, it would behoove anybody out there to get a quick pin. Anything that you can do to save energy, because let me tell you something, once it gets down to climbing those ropes and climbing those girders and, and trying to pull that belt down, i talked to everybody that's ever been in any kind of an Ultimate X match, they say it's unlike anything you've ever gone through. Your muscles burn like they've never burned before. You're having to do things that you don't normally do in a ring. It really is a sight to see. Now, quickly, prime time, Elix Skipper. Great a job. Oh, look at him, yes. But you knew that. Oh, and he catches the truth. <laughs> Just seconds ago, saw Killings hit the missile drop kick, and now Skipper connects with the exact same move. I'm gonna tell you something, they're doing their posturing out there. We gotta see a replay of how high he gets. Look at this. That's the kind of athleticism this guy has. Pound for pound in his mind, he's the best in the world. The most innovative match in wrestling, right before our very eyes, even more unique, more innovative than ever. Oh, look adding at this. Two extra levels as we see AJ get in, and he's calling out the fallen angel. Now, if Ron the Truth Killings is smart, he'll do this. Because oh, you can't get pinned. You can't get pinned if you're not in the ring. And Christopher Daniels knows that. He's looking for the big prize. Again, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, you must survive both the tag team match and the three-way just to qualify for Ultimate X. Oh, look at this. Ron the Truth Killings, I think, took offense to the fact that AJ Styles didn't want to deal with him. But oh! AJ shows why he's so good. Back elbows, block the suplex attempt oh, by Styles. Man, oh, man. Mid ring collision. Series of forearm shots, repeated blows well, by the looking, phenomenal. You're looking at two gladiators just meeting in the middle of the ring right there. These two of them. Oh, what a drop kick right there by Styles. Unbelievable. Oh, and of course now Daniels comes in. Well, I'll tell you what, Daniels has a, one thing in his mind, and that's embarrassing AJ Styles in an Ultimate X match. Embarrassing him on his terms. Opportunity now exists for Killings to take control of the situation. Can he put Styles away? AJ able to shoot him off. Oh, what a collision that was. Killings got the better of it. Well, if anybody didn't think Ron the Truth Killings belongs in a match like this, all you gotta do is watch him for a few seconds. And now Ron the Truth Killings puts Daniels in. And Daniels momentarily had turned his back on the action in the ring, and that allowed Killings to tag him in. The two men who were involved in that. Oh! oh that's <laughs> so memorable. Iron Man match. Actually went to overtime last month, and it's in. No, Daniels just gets a two count. Just think of what that would have meant to everybody if AJ Styles would have got pinned right there. AJ's got to feel like he's one on three in a way. I mean, think about it. He's the only one out there that's ever had an X Division title. The other three have not. Boy, is that 
never true. Big knee drop, follow cover, leg hook, no. Just a two count from referee Andrew Thomas. Forearm shot. I mean, Series of them now rocks Daniels. Style springs off, but from outside, Skipper. Oh, that was a little team look. I was wondering how they would react. I mean, you gotta think about the strategy. You look need that. your partner. He just pointed at Skipper. I know it, and that's what I'm talking about. AJ was figuring his partner was at his side. Obviously, he let Skipper was sending Daniels a message that, hey, I might not be able to partner with you, but I'll help you. And the key is, is it doesn't matter whoever gets eliminated, as long as you keep going to the next tier. I think what you're saying is, yes, this is a tag team match, yeah. but the reality of the situation is that it's every man for himself. Yeah, you have no seeing friends. seeing that unfold right before our very eyes. You have no friends. Not in this one. You have no teammates. To me, the only thing your partner's good for is tagging into so that you're not in the ring to get pinned. Oh, man. Oh, look at Christopher Daniels. He is just fighting for everything he's got right here. He wants to put AJ out right now. Check this cross-face submission move applied by Daniels, cranking, yanking back on the neck of AJ. Perfect opportunity also to neutralize Styles at this point, to regroup and at the same time add that pain, add that punishment to the cross-face submission. Oh man, pulling back right there. You can see the pain in Styles' face. Now, this is where AJ Styles has got, there he gets his foot on the rope, good move. He's got to right now tag in Elix Skipper. If he tags him, Skipper's got to go in that ring, and that keeps him out of that ring, and he can regroup a little bit. Had a chance earlier to talk to phenomenal AJ Styles about this match. He said, you guys are calling it the Ultimate X Challenge. I see it as we see this spring. Oh, 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 he's got it. No. Too. You heard AJ said, I'd rename it the Ultimate X Endurance Test, and the longer this match goes, the more I see what he was talking about. Yeah, it is. It is survival. It is endurance. Because, I mean, just think about it. You're going to hear the bell twice before the actual match for the belt starts. Oh, man. Right hands from Daniels. Styles fights back. Punch for punch. AJ counters. AJ matches each right with one of his own. And now look at the forearm shots. Oh, you can see the oh, Look at this. Oh, look at the agility. The phenomenal AJ Styles. And that's how you do it. Kick him in the back of the head. And Zagiri drilled him. Right in the back of the head, as you mentioned. Styles, though, he's trying to regroup, trying to clear the cobwebs at the same time. And keep in mind right now, Rob, the two killings at front time, even Skipper, are not clamoring to get in the ring. They know that they can't be pinned if they're out there catching their breath. Daniels realizes that, and that's why he puts the truth in there. Daniels dives to the corner, tags in partner killings. Oh, look at this! Oh! A little teamwork of their own! How about oh, that? Yeah, got in by her, that from Ron the Truth Killing. Basically sacrificing himself just to give AJ Styles to let him know he didn't like what he saw. Oh, oh man. What a right shot that was. Sits Skipper into the corner. Now the Truth gonna try and fire him off with the reversal. Float over by killing. Oh, look at him. Man, I love watching him in the ring. That's what I'm talking about right there. The fluidity yes. of these moves by Ron the Truth Killer is just absolutely amazing. He and the former NWA the champ, top rope bound and... Oh, did you see that axe kick from the top of the rope? Axe yes. kick, top oh. rope, two. Daniel oh. in for the same. Now this again, this, this is imagine? really not a smart move on Daniel's part. Is it, it shows you the respect he has for Skipper. I think Daniel's just wants the advantage later in the match, if you think about it. Hey, that's a it, good point, If it Mike. goes to a three-way, Don, oh. Play. Look at, here comes AJ, beautiful shot right there. Wow. And then watch this move by Primetime. This is, this is wicked here, folks. 
He gets himself See, balanced. Killing's trying to fight him off. Yes, and then he just caught him right there. And I mean, he's a never, never land there. Powers man. him down, connects with the sudden uh, death, and that equals the three count. What and a now, smart strategy by Daniel. Exactly. Now we're seeing the strategy in the exact situation that the fallen angel Christopher Daniels was hoping for. He knows. But the thing is, eventually only one can wear the belt. So even if they it comes down to Skipper and Daniels, then they're going to have to go after each other. You think they're going to work together against AJ? I don't know how this is going to work out. I, I mean, oh my. You want help from whoever you can get it from, but eventually you oh. can't trust anybody. And these kids are brutal. You know, we've talked about it in the past. Elix Skipper, seven years of martial arts experience before even becoming a professional wrestler. Oh, look at these guys just caught each other right in the middle. After the kick exchange, mid-ring collision, both men connect, both down, and keep your eyes on Daniels. Well, he's watching the two of them just beat each other to death a minute ago, and now Daniels, well, wait a minute, this isn't going to do you any good to get... What's he doing here? He can't get the belt. No. He can't get the belt. To the top, he's he's hanging from the cables, and now what? Oh, my goodness. I see what he's got in mind here. You do? No, I said, let's see what he's got in mind. He can't get the belt. Position oh, on those steel cables. Oh, my God. Enjoyment that he's getting. 
again right now. Think about what's going through the mind of prime time. He looks skipper. Is he gonna help anybody? Or is he just gonna try to pin somebody? And I mean, right now, I think you've gotta just forget about any kind of You're wild hitting. You just take the first pin you can make. And look at these guys. Great camera shot, folks. Great overhead shot as we see Skipper and Daniel. Oh, look at the headbutts right there. AJ trying to fight him off. Oh, he goes down. Oh, wait a minute. Now you see Skipper going to the top of the rope. Skipper, he must have something in mind. Meanwhile, AJ, corner mount with Daniels. What are you gonna do, prime time? Oh, no. He's got AJ. Oh, wow. Inverted Hurricane Rana slash Frankensteiner coming off the cable. I'll tell you what, though, AJ Styles made a great move right there. He saw his head landing first. He was able to torque his body in midair so that he landed on his chest. It was a smart move. You might not realize it, but he... Oh! Oh, look at that! Skipper's got him! Caught him in mid-move. Power bond him down to the mat, but the impact of the move, you see Skipper roll away at the same time, and he's not able to cover Daniels and pin him and put him away. Again, the two survivors, and that's the only way we can really call it at this point. The two men who survived this three-way triple threat will then go on to the Ultimate X match, and we will find out who leaves Destination X as the X Division champ. Skipper looks pretty good at this point. I'll tell you what, just when it looked like he was down and out, just when it looked like the Fallen Angel had just done the ultimate turn on his buddy, Skipper was able to fight it out, and he knows there's no, no loyalty now, but wait a minute. AJ Styles is up on the top of the rope. What's he got planned? AJ is from it, the steel is, Can you top this? High above the ring, look out! Oh. AJ coming down! Oh, oh man, he just kind of throws him off. Just barely catches him. Was it enough? What a collision that was. Crashing down to the mat. Styles, Daniel Skipper, who's going to be the first to get to their feet. Oh, these guys are unbelievable athletes, but they are just, and like I said, when you start doing things like they're doing, you're spending twice as much energy as you normally would in any kind of a match. AJ, what you right here? AJ looks to be the first up. Daniel's using the ring ropes to try and get himself back up as well. I mean, this is, we're still in only round two. I mean, we, we haven't even got to the part where you can actually take the, the belt off of the top of the ropes. That's the amazing part. Everybody, I think, forgets that. We're only in the second tier of this match. Boot to the midsection. Here Double it goes. Him over, take him up. Oh, look at the. Oh, oh great move by AJ. Can he cover him? Here it Can is. Can he pin him? Two. Two. No. Not yet. Just Chris. that close to eliminating Daniels and bringing it down to Styles and Skipper to settle it for the title. I'll tell you what, here he goes, going for a little Styles clash. Oh! Skipper catches AJ right there. AJ fighting back with an elbow. I mean, it's survival at this point. Oh, AJ pulling on the arm. Moonsault back, went for the inverted DDT, blocked by Skipper, picks him up, gonna go for the sudden death again. Oh, this could do it, he's got it! it. Sudden death, this couldn't do it! Can he pin him? No! Trying to go for the cover. He's gonna roll him he over. He just can't, wait a minute, look at this! He just rolled him up! Oh, did he get it? He got him! Unbelievable! Right place, right time. Again, perfect strategy for Daniels. Think about this. Now he's got AJ Styles after AJ Styles is completely worn out. Daniels able to catch Skipper off guard. It was his best move. And now it's AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the ultimate X matchup. The tag match is out, the three ways out. We're down to Daniels, we're down to Styles. That's the title belt that hangs above the ring. The individual that takes it down will be X Division champion. And here he goes. Gonna Daniels. try to put it into it really quick. Daniels can smell victory. A title he's never had. Oh, and Styles pulled him right down. Oh, man, close line. Just powered him right down to the mat. Daniel's not gonna waste any time. He's gonna go right back up there, and it's a smart move. He knows that AJ Styles is wore out. He knows that Enix Skipper took so much out of him there at the end. This is his perfect opportunity. AJ's just gonna have to figure out some way 
to get the momentum back in his favor. Duck at the clothesline. Rips off the chops and then more of those forearm shots. Gonna take him up and... Oh, what a backbreaker that was. Directly across the knee. Side backbreaker by Styles. Again, take down the title belt and become X Division Champion. I'll tell you what, AJ still wobbly though. Still wobbly from a sudden death by even Skipper. Think about it. And then the vicious headbutts right there by Christopher Daniels. But there he goes! He hits the Pele out of nowhere! He always knows when to use it! How does he do that? We've got to see the Pele again! Perfect timing by the phenomenal AJ Styles to connect with that Pele kick. We're going to take another look, they tell me. Here look it is. Look at this. Check this out. Oh, He's phenomenal. I think that's the word I'm going to use to describe it from here on out. Good call. Phenomenal. We're going to try and get back live to this matchup. Are we going to take another look? There's another shot of it. It was just unbelievable, wasn't it? And now we're back live. Daniels to the corner. Styles recognizes that Daniels is maybe just slightly ahead of him. AJ up, they're just about even. No Daniels, hand over hand. Oh, they're hand. both up there now. They're both going AJ for it. making up ground. They can see him, they're just fighting each other. Oh, Daniels falls down. AJ, does he have enough? Party with the oh, hand. Yeah. oh my gosh. It was the only thing he could do. He had to dive at him. And he dove in a desperation move and pulled Styles down from the steel cables high above the ring. Man, that was all or nothing right there. All or nothing. AJ was just this close to being champion. Oh, man, this is just... We knew it was going to be this way. Will AJ Styles keep the X Division title? Or will the fallen angel finally realize his dream to become X Division champ for a first time? What a great way to settle it. Now Styles cut off by Daniels. AJ fighting him off, but so is Daniels. I mean, they've just tried everything. AJ now. He's got the advantage. He's shimmy. Whoa, he's coming back. Oh, oh, God. He's got a smart strategy. He can knock Christopher Daniels down right here. He's got a chance. Oh, man. Did you see that? I saw it. Take another look. Look at this. Oh, man, the back of the head just slammed down. The first thing the referee did was check AJ Styles. Think of the impact. Think of the concussion to the back of the head from that kind of a drop, from that kind of a fall. Oh, yeah, the impact zone. He's rocking for the Ultimate X Challenge. Styles and Daniels both trying to regroup. Daniels again uses the ring ropes. I'll tell you what, these guys are warriors. And oh, you can see right there how dizzy he is. He goes up the wrong side, but you can't blame him. You're just looking for any kind of an edge. What did we say earlier? This is the ultimate X endurance test is yes, what this is. It sure is. And that just proved it. And you can see right there, Daniel's trying to reach up and grab. AJ fighting him. They're both going up. I mean, no quit in either of these two. Almost as if they're both just operating on fumes at this You're point. You're looking at two of the best wrestlers in the world right here. There's no other way to describe it. Daniels headbutt. I thought he was going to drive Styles down. Oh, AJ right into it. Oh! AJ holding on for dear life. Those heavy steel supports. Oh, wait a minute. You can see Daniels knows he's got it. And look at, oh, AJ right, right behind him. Can he bring it down, AJ? Kick after kick. Oh, he does bring it down. Caught him with the kick. Variation oh, of the look at him here. pulling down on the way. Daniels hanging on for dear oh, life. Oh, man. Hanging on for dear life, and yeah, it paid off. Wow. Unbelievable. You saw the survival instincts. Once Daniels fell, once his hands fell from those ropes, he had to go straight to it, and he pulled on the leg of AJ. Listen to the crowd at the impact zone. This is this awesome. Is awesome. That's the chance. Everyone's awesome. on their feet. Well, it is awesome. And now look at these two. Daniels oh, has there the they edge. Go. Daniels has the edge. Who's going to get oh, the AJ title belt? AJ though, fighting his way. He knows what it takes to win. They're both wrapping up. 
Shields has got an arm in it. Trying to tear down the ball and still hangs down. Oh, and the title belt is still hanging. Unbelievable. God, you would think with all of the weight, with all of the pressure, trying to pull down on the title belt, that the championship would come down, but no. Oh, I'll tell you what, it is secure. You're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to want it. This has really turned into a match of attrition at this point. Who's going to be able to suck it up? Everybody standing. And there goes AJ. And now you see Daniels. There's just no quit. They know they don't have much left. And now AJ's got his arm in it. Daniels got his arm in it. And it just won't come down. And again, the title belt still hangs from above the ring, still stuck to the steel cables. Unbelievable. They just can't get the grip on it. They've got to get the other one away to where they can literally try to peel it apart. It's almost as if this match is so even, Don, that both men are making it to the middle at the same time. And they're both trying to tug on the belt, but at the same time, it's almost like they cancel each other out. Oh, absolutely, and you can see right there. That belt hanging in the balance. AJ. Referee Andrew Thomas has been knocked down, by the way. Check this out, Thomas is down. AJ's there, AJ can take it down. Oh, wait a minute, right he's got it. He's got it at least, he's Oh, wait a minute, though, the referee doesn't see it. Oh, look at this, he's got it. He puts him into the AJ. Thomas revived. Wait a minute. He sees the title belt in front of him. And he's giving it to Daniel. This is robbery. This is wrong. AJ Styles should still be X Division champion. But no. Christopher Daniels has been awarded the belt. I'll tell you what, though, you've got to give the fallen angel credit. He realized the referee was down, and he got right there and stole it. He stole it. You're right. He stole the title. Christopher Daniels becomes X Division champion. Wow. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> Rolex says Johnny Fairplay's time is almost up. Look, I don't ask you for anything. This is one. Hey, Buck, Buck Quartermain? Oh, oh the Buck, you? oh my God, huge fan, huge fan. Lex, my favorite Lex. Uh, Lex, Lex Lovage, that's, that's you. Huge fan, oh my God, you guys are so, all, hi, I'm Johnny Fairplay from Survivor, nice to meet you, yeah. Uh, from Survivor, number one show in America, greatest villain ever, Grandma Love, long story. Anyway, look, you guys are awesome. I, I need a tag team, and I've looked everywhere for you two guys. You were awesome too. Yeah, don't, thank yeah. you. Scarecrow. Yeah, what are you yeah, no, I, I, yeah, no, 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 that, that's funny, you guys are great. I, look, I've looked everywhere for you two guys, like, I'm supposed to find a tag team, and I'm like, who's the greatest tag team ever? Lex Lovett and, and Buck Quartermain, ever. Look, look, here, I have a TNA contract, pay-per-views, impact on Fox Sports. I mean, you guys, listen, I got a deal, right, like, right now, here, look, look, let me size up merchandise, I'm thinking everything, like, let, no, 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 come here, look, look, no, stand up, let me show you, no, like, oh, well, sir, please, no, you'll love it. It's, no, no, let me show you. Look, look. It'll be like me in the center, and I do this, and, and then I go, and, and then I go, and like I make these cool faces. They're awesome. Anyway, you're my tag. TNA contracts right you, now. You can get us contract. contracts contracts right, 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 now. right now. Done deal. Ultimate X Challenge was absolutely incredible, but Don, you know what time it is? Oh, it's Main time. event time. NWA World Heavyweight Championship time. Is it time? I was getting ready to ask, according to DDP, it's time right now. It's time to take that belt off of the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Jarrett. He's gonna have to reach down, get his revenge, focus in on everything that he's thought about for so long, and apply it tonight. And it's called Ringside Revenge. Wrestlers who have been wronged in the past by Jeff Jarrett to surround the ring. They're not lumberjacks. They're not going to get physically involved, but they're to prevent Jarrett from using things like the guitar, like the cello, or anything else that he might bring into play. And yes, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for our main event, the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship match, Diamond Dallas Page and Jeff Jarrett. I can't think of a better time 
than right now for Diamond Dallas Page to become the NWA Heavyweight Champion of the World. It's time. It's time. It's one. It's one. You're damn right it is. TNA is being run by a corrupt director of authority. I put police around the ring. I've done all that needs to be done. If you're going to be champion, you've got to dig down in here and draw it out and bring it out. DDP did not come to TNA for any other reason but to become the NWA World Champion. Well, at Destination X, you can have DDP and Cowboy. It ain't gonna work. Uh oh. Don't you oh, ever put your hands on me. Ever. Wait a minute. Oh, he DDP went for it. just gets cut off, Jared. Oh, here's the numbers game. Oh, you can see the outlaw right there. They're ganging up. And they're just pounding on DDP right there. The stage has been set down. They're gonna surround the ring with wrestlers that Jeff Jarrett is wrong. It's time for you to feel the you want to come out here and tell these slap nuts that it's time, it ain't time for anything but for him to leave Planet Cherry. Dusty Rhodes, nobody can beat me and nobody will beat me. I am on Planet Cherry and I am climbing your mountain. And right now, if you want to take me out, brother, I'm right here because it's time. Oh, you can just feel the bad blood between these two. You can feel the hatred between these two. And DDP has waited so long. He's going to get his hands on 13. And he's letting Jeff Jarrett know, you better be ready for me. Because I've got a diamond cutter waiting for you. We have a lot of chunks in the car. And Hage is ready for him. Knocks him down. DDP's got the guitar. Oh, you know he loves that. What's your heart, your soul, your passion? That gold championship belt. In the six-sided ring, you will feel the bell. Because it's what? It's what? It's what? It's what? It's me. You're damn right it is. The prestige, the power, the control that goes with being NWA World's Heavyweight Champion will go to either Jeff Jarrett or Diamond Dallas Page, and let's take a look at the raw numbers. Let's break it down with the tail of the tape, and let's compare DDP and Jarrett. Height advantage for Diamond Dallas Page, as well as a slight weight advantage and a slight experience edge for the NWA Champion. Let's look at the bullet points. The director of authority, Dusty Rhodes, he upset Jarrett and his legal team, releasing the ring with wrestlers that have been wronged by the King of the Mountain, but now the champion will also have his backup. Three years on the sidelines, neck and back injuries initially caused by Jarrett. DDP, he's looking for seven figures of revenge. It's time, it's been the inspiration, it's been the catchphrase for DDP. It's now time to find out if it is time for Diamond Dallas Page to become NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. And we are going to introduce the quote-unquote policeman that the NWA Director of Authority Dusty Rhodes has assigned to this match. And we know that the Alpha Male has been wronged, wronged many times in the past by the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett, Monty Brown at ringside. Who better than the Alpha Male to be out there to make sure that Jeff Jarrett doesn't find a way to cheat to win? I mean, he's been on the losing end twice. Title matches to Jeff Jarrett. And then think about it. The three live crew. Ron the crew killing's got to be a little upset with what happened in the opening challenge. He will stop anybody that tries to do something wrong. Conan, BC James, they're there. It's 
not that they got DDP back, it's that they're, they're there to make sure that Jeff Jarrett does it right. And here comes the living legend, Larry Zabisco, from the NWA Championship Committee. Well, who better than to have a judge out there to make sure it goes right? But this yes. is where Lawyer Daggett got involved. Exactly. The legal team of Jeff Jarrett came into play. He said, as long as you're going to have individuals around ringside that have been wronged by Jarrett in the past, I'm going to bring my own back up. And there you see the Naturals, Chase Stevens, Andy Douglas, in the middle, Chris Candido, and that attorney Daggett as well. I'll tell you what, though, but you mentioned it earlier. It's not like these guys can get physically involved. They're just there to make sure it's done right. It's not a lumberjack match. Don't mistake it for one. It's me. It's D. D. B. The long-term history between champion and challenger is so interesting. Do you realize that when Diamond Dallas Page of his three WCW World Heavyweight Championship. It was back in the year 2000. His opponent was Jeff Jarrett. And did you know that when Jeff Jarrett won the first of his four reigns as WCW Champion, his opponent, none other than Diamond Dallas Page. DDP refers to this as the rubber match between the two. When you factor in the payback mindset, Because of the guitar shots that literally cost him millions of dollars, you factor in the hunger, it may be time, it just may be time for DDP to become champ. Speaking of champ, here comes the champ, and I'm gonna tell you something. Love him or hate him, this guy is anything, if he's anything, he's resilient. He finds a way to somehow some way, stay the champion, and you gotta admire that. You may not like his methods, but you gotta love his success. Well, you're not kidding. With every day that flies off the calendar, the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett, makes TNA history as NWA World Heavyweight Champion since June the 2nd of 2004. A run, ladies and gentlemen, that has reached nine and a half months in counting. Jarrett is both the longest reigning NWA World title holder of the TNA era, and simply put, he's the longest reigning champion period in TNA. Whether you talk about world champion, X Division champion, tag team title holder. Oh, look at this! DDP is just all oh, he wants him. Now, I'm going to tell you what Jeff Jarrett can do. We've seen it so much in the past. He can use that emotion that DDP's feeling right now and turn it against him. He knows how to do that. He can keep focus. He can keep at the level he needs to be. DDP is gonna have to calm down. Again, keep in mind, this is ringside revenge. This isn't a lumberjack match. The wrestlers around ringside have been instructed not to have physical contact with either DDP or Jared. Listen to the support for the challenger, Diamond Dallas Page, and the Impact Zone. Are you ready, Don? I'm ready, Let's my friend. Let's send it to the ring. Let's send it to Jeremy Borash for the introductions of our main event. Go, JD. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your main event of the evening. It's ringside revenge for the NWA Heavyweight Championship of the World. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA senior official, Mr. Rudy Charles. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from Orlando, Florida, it's time for your main event of the evening. Introducing, first of all, the challenger. He weighed in this morning at 252 pounds. Originally from New Jersey, now residing in Hollywood, California, he is a former three-time world heavyweight champion. This is the challenger, Diamond Dallas Page. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Introducing, standing outside the ring to my right, 
hailing from Nashville, Tennessee. He weighed in this morning at 238 pounds. He is the current reigning and defending NWA heavyweight champion of the world. He is the king of the mountain. to be time for Diamond Dallas Page. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got the backing. He's got the backing, he's got the emotion of the crowd. Jeff Jarrett's gotta feel like a man on an island. But that's what he does best. He takes that and he uses that. Listen to this crap. The emotion from the crowd at the impact zone. It has to fuel Diamond Dallas Page when they hear those chants. Don, we've heard them for weeks. The fans have been chanting, it's time. It's time for Diamond Dallas Page to become NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And look at Jarrett run. Again, keep in mind, this is not a lumberjack match. They've been instructed not to have physical contact. I'll tell you what, though, right off the bat, you could see that Jeff Jarrett wanted to test the situation. Wanted to make sure Oh, look at that, he just did, it took a fit, but somebody had it assigned. But here he goes, he's back in, but you saw what the guys did. It's called they the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship, Don, because think of this, Jeff Jarrett has defended this title in Japan, in New Zealand, in oh. Australia, in Puerto Rico, in Korea. This past Friday, Jeff Jarrett wrestled in Tampico, Mexico, in front of over 15,000 fans. He's a fighting That's champion. the true definition of NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. With an emphasis on worlds. Exactly. Look at this DDP, look at that, look at that vision right there. I mean, he has Talk got about the focus, determination, yes. Concentration, and again, Jarrett drops down to the floor. Frustration here, setting in. DDP, that's pretty evident. I'll tell you he, what, though, He can't man. let it get under his skin, no. though. He's got to stay with total concentration and total focus on the task at hand. Well, right now, Jeff Jarrett's just playing with him. He's just playing with him. He knows this is a, a war, not a battle. And right now, this is a mini battle that he's letting DDP win. And Nick can see referee Rudy Charles saying, get in the ring. I don't know what Jeff Jarrett's complaining about. Jarrett trying to slow down the momentum. Oh, the crowd reaction as well, and yeah. then attacks from behind. That's exactly what I was talking about. As he goes for a quick stroke, but it's not gonna work. Yeah, way too early to do that, obviously. Hadn't sufficiently weakened. Oh. oh, DDP goes for the cutter. Attempted the diamond cutter, and remember, we're one diamond cutter, or we're one stroke away from seeing who ends up NWA World Oh, look at him putting Brown. his hands on Monty Brown. Well, oh, Monty's got him goes on. Oh, you know Monty Brown wants a piece of him. Did you hear what Jarrett said? He said, that's why I'm champ and you're not. Yeah. Like right in the alpha male's face. Well, I'll tell you what, though. DDP used that to his advantage. Well, Jeff Jarrett's focus went astray. He came right out there and took it to him outside. If Jarrett wants to play out there, the DDP's the man to bring it to him. That DDP unloads. Big clubbing ball, right hands to the back, to the side of the head. Gonna try and send him into that steel post, but oh, Jared able to put on the brakes. I'll tell you what, though, nice knee to the gut right there by Diamond Dallas Page, and here he is. Oh, but again, it's uh, the time it takes to get in the ring. Jeff Jarrett's right there to react. Jarrett grabs the side headlock. Great move here by Jarrett. Go back to the basics. Wear DDP down. And then maybe after you sufficiently weaken him, then you can try the stroke and look at DDP, try and power out, and Jared just rips extra harder on that side headlock. I'll tell you what, though, DDP's a man who, who is a yoga guru. This is a man that knows how to, to take his body and just focus on it and make it do things that normal bodies can't. I really don't think Jared can wear him down. Page shoulder block leads to a pin attempt and a two count. Right back off the ropes again. Look at DD. Oh, nice elbow right there. Shoulder block One, again, two. pin attempt again, and another near fall. 
I'll tell you what, though, look at this. <laughs> if they keep this pace up, they're going to get wore out. Oh, nice move, nice counter. Hip toss attempt, duck of the clothesline, boot to the midsection, but no S block. Oh, right there. he takes it right there to him. Didn't block that clothesline. Crashing down to the floor, but going over the top rope. But DDP landed on his feet, and that's the advantage. Page puts the boots to Jerry. Look out! Oh, and here's oh, the table. Right over the table here. We're we'll trying to call the action. I'm telling you what, Davidella Page just being the aggressor. Oh, face first goes Jared right into the table. Slams him right there. Page regrouping. How about that? Jeff Jarrett, and he nails him with the right. Oh, clothesline sends Jarrett over the steel guardrail and out into the crowd here at the impact zone. Unbelievable, the action is just spilled everywhere. We knew it would. Wait a minute, he's got a garbage can. Oh, it just claps him with it right on top of the head. Let's, let's give him a little leeway out here. What Say, Don, I think it's great. Well, who's going to stop it? I mean, it's on. Yeah, there's it's, too much at stake. It's the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, and there is no way. Look at this. Now they're headed up into the bleachers. Page connecting with right hand. Oh, he just sent him right into the wall. You hear the crowd react, especially those people that are right there, right on top of the action. Oh, God, he just. What did he throw him through? The side of our entrance area. I'm telling you right now, it's right into the crowd, which plays right into the hands of DDP. Those are his people. They're with him all the way. For years, Diamond Dallas Page has been called the people's champion, and the crowd has supported DDP. Page and Jarrett still battling in the crowd at the impact zone. Oh, another trash can shot. I'll tell you what, this has just become a full out brawl as DDP slings the back door. I'm telling you right now, Jeff Jarrett has got to get some bearings. DDP is in total control. Oh, look at that, one shot after the other. Again, Jarrett sent into the steel. You can just feel the level of confidence rising. Oh, now we're going to the Spanish broadcast table. Oh, look at this. Jeff Jarrett is taking a beating. I'm telling you right now, I actually thought this was going to play into the hands of the champion. But I was wrong. Moody Jack. Jack Dallas Page yeah. is just not letting up. Spanish broadcast team, Moody Jack, Armando, Contreras. You see them scramble out of the way. They just grabbed a run from somebody in the stands. Oh. And crash that down. Jarrett's back. Yeah. Look at this. On, I'm Jared. telling you something. Diamond Dallas Page is as focused no, as a man can be. Look at this. this is, look at the size of this chair. Oh, no. DDP brings this chair into the ring from the Spanish broadcast table. Jarrett trying to go to it, trying to find anything. Oh, right there, beautiful placement of the knee. Right hand, have a seat, champ. He's just trying to catch his breath. Another wicked right. He spins him around. Another right. And every time he spins oh. around, DDP connects with the right hand. Oh, oh man, big boot. Just kicks it right over the top of the chair. Surprised? No. Cheap shot. Well, I, I don't blame him at this point. 
I just don't blame him. I mean, he's got to somehow stop the heat. I mean, you talk about cheap shots. I mean, my gosh, we've seen him hit with everything. I mean, it's on now. Well, it definitely stopped the offensive tide here of Diamond Dallas Page. And you can just see, oh, dear no! Crashes the chair right on the leg of the knee of DDP. Oh, look at him holding on to it. And from as many years as I've watched Jeff Jarrett in action, my initial, oh! my initial reaction, Don, is that he's trying to wear down the knee to set him up for one thing, the figure four leg lock. Oh, you're, you're dead on. And I'm going to tell you something. We talked about his oh, resilience. God. We talked about his resilience. And that's exactly what it is. I mean, he took everything that Diamond Dallas Page could give him. And now he's the one standing and he's just working that leg over. And there he goes. Offensive Look attack. Look at working it again. Gonna try and cannonball down and... Oh, no. oh, he does with all of his weight. The leg, the knee extended across the bottom rope. And Jared just dropped all of his weight right down across the knee. Oh, you can see right here. Look, at you're right. He's setting him up in the middle. He's going for it. Gonna go for the figure four. And there he goes, but look at this. Diamond Dallas Page isn't gonna have it. Quick roll oh, up. Up. Two. Oh, so close. We talked about their previous meetings, and you can see the familiarity. DDP could see it coming. Here's another roll up. package. Two. Oh, Jared fighting with everything he's got. Wow, almost beating with that inside. Oh, Great DDP's got figure. a hold of ropes here. Come on. Look at that, just beating on that knee, just. Oh, here comes the Jarrett strut. Well, the level of confidence and cockiness that we saw earlier from DDP, maybe too cocky, Jarrett. I think he was just trying to quiet this crowd that's been against him from the beginning. That's not the way you do it. That just incites him. Ooh, nice knee, though, right there by the champ. Perfectly placed to take him up and... Oh, he's just wearing that leg out. Another oh, attempt. Oh, here he is. He's got, he's got it. Four. And he caps oh, it off. There oh, it is. Oh, man. Ring positioning. Two count. Oh. You can see right there, Diamond Dallas Page just fighting it off. Gets the shoulder up. How quickly the momentum has turned. The That's king it. of the mountain is in total control. DDP is nowhere near the ropes. No, another pin and another two count. At this point, can Diamond Dallas Page use the size, use the weight advantage that he has to possibly turn Jarrett over and get the momentum of the figure four swinging to his side? I'll tell you, though, look at where Jarrett's placed. He's got it perfectly placed. He's got the proper torque. I mean, DDP's fighting with everything he's got. And Jarrett just keeps bringing it back. Look at that. Page trying to use the strength of his legs. And to think turn of what that's taking out of him. And again, he Jared turned into control. And just momentarily, he turned him over, took control, but Jared used the momentum at the same time to swing it over. He's awful close to the ropes. I think he's making contact. Yeah, with he's got a hold of him. The good thing about that was by rolling him over there, at least that one time, he was able to get into the grass with the rope and stop it. But what has it taken out of him is the question. Well, he's fighting back now from his knees. He's going to use the ropes for momentum. Oh, look at this. Jared's fighting it, fighting it. DDP with everything he's got. No, he just didn't have enough. Pin attempts. Oh, look at that. He's got him. Two. No. Oh, we knew it was going to be intense, but this is unbelievable. Sleeper hold now applied by Jared. He goes from one of his favorite moves, the figure four, to yet another with the sleeper. Page trying to fight through. Great strategy right there by the world champion. Go high, go low, go high, go low. Just any part of the body you can take out, and you got, and that way you keep DDP on his guard the entire time. Cut off the flow of blood. Cut off the flow of oxygen to the challenger. Wear him down, and that's exactly the effect of this sleeper hold. We saw Monty Brown right there looking on. Somebody that's became a good friend of late of, of Diamond Dallas Page. Tag team partner as right. well. Well, they got a mutual bond. They both want to beat Jeff Jarrett for the championship. And again, he hooks it in. Sleeper hold applied. Page tries to fight him off and does. Shot up. Oh, look at him. Great counter by DDP. Powered him down. Both men down. Page and Jarrett. Battling. You're right, Don. Just as we anticipated. Just as we expected. With that.
that prestigious NWA title at stake as the referee puts in the count. I'll tell you what, these guys don't realize what they go through, what they deal with. And they have just put everything in it. And now, they're at this point in the match where if they don't get up, would it go back to Jared if neither one of them can answer the 10 counts? Uh, he would retain the title because he wouldn't be pinned. He wouldn't submit. But Jared now slowly making his way up. Page is well to his feet. Jared off the rope. Oh, nice block. Nice block right there by Diamond Dallas Page. Page comes with another right. I mean, you can you look at these. I'll tell you what, forget about the open hand. Those are smashes to the face, man. Jared sent for the ride. Oh, he nice drops him. And face first goes Jared repeatedly in the corner. Man, they're just going right at it. I mean, this is for all the marbles. This isn't. There's so much at stake. Oh, and it's so amazing how the momentum can turn. Jared now trying to find a way. He ducks one, but he catches another. Pin, two, no! Brazilian again. Is it time? Page feels it. Jared able to shoot him off into the ropes. Oh, he's got a no, hold. No, he's got him up. Oh, what a slam! Powered him down. Oh, Pin. No! Again, Jared able to get that shoulder up. Unbelievable. Come on, Jared. I mean, you just, he's got to be doing it on instinct, both of them. As we take a close-up look at the alpha male, Monty Brown, you know that he wishes that he was in this match. Yes. You know that he wants the winner of this bout. He wants the, a title shot. So bad. So bad, it's unbelievable. Jarrett, lateral press. He wishes he could have the same condition that DDP has now. Boy, that's pretty obvious. What an intense look on the face of the alpha male. Yes, he does wish that he was right in the middle of the mix, that he was in this NWA title match. Reverse, DDP shoots him off. Oh, nice. Slide through, perfectly executed by Jarrett. But DDP had a counter for it. DDP was ready for it. Gonna play to the crowd. Is he gonna slam him down? He sure is. Sit out, spinning power ball. But he had him that time. I did too. The impact of that blow, the he, power of the power bomb, leads to just another near fall. Motioning for the cutter. If he can, he knows he's got Jared at a point right now. If he can hit him with the diamond cutter, there it is. It's going to be over. That's the fake shot, diamond. Oh, wait cutter. a minute! They're not supposed to interfere. And they did. Candido and the Naturals hooking Page from outside, and that allows Jared to take over. Here comes the strong. Oh, oh, he's got no. it. Stroke attempt by Jarrett. Connects. Gonna roll him over. Not this no. way it should end. No. Yes. And yes. it's not gonna end this way. Candido, the Naturals, they're celebrating on the apron. They thought they were gonna be the difference. And the look what's happened out here because of the interference. It's just gone crazy. Oh, it's just unbelievable right here. God, look out. Zoe's a best guy. told not to interfere, but they just, they've turned it loose and look oh. at Zabisco. Zabisco and Candido exchanging. Now, Jarrett's got a guitar. Wait a minute, did you see that the outlaw came in and gave it to him? The outlaw came in and gave Jarrett the guitar. It's gone crazy. And wait a minute, PG James, not gonna let him use it. PG, the great equalizer. Is he gonna hit Jarrett? Why oh, about PG? Goes. Get him. Oh. Look at this! Conan sets him up! Conan sets him up! You know what? They just couldn't help get involved after everything that's gone down. Now he's gonna hit him with the guitar! Oh, oh wait a minute! Jared Duck and he caught Conan! Oh my god! He it backfired! He knocked him out! No way! Unbelievable! He didn't mean to do it! You know he didn't mean to do it! Conan knocked unconscious after the guitar shot. Jarrett slowly making his way to his feet. Page as well from behind. The outlaw came in, gave Jarrett the chance, got the guitar in there. 
You can forget about that guitar now. Oh, wait, you see that? Oh, no. DDP used the referee, though. It was a smart move. Referee Rudy Charles goes down. Here he goes. Yes. Could he go for the cutter? Oh, he's got Jared right where he wants him. Wait a minute. Not the outlaw Here again. The outlaw again. No, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, and he just hit the famous sir on DDP. can make careers or silence them. Words cannot describe it! On April 24th, history will be made. Two cage matches, six sides of steel, one epic night. No! You got to be kidding me! TNA Wrestling presents Lockdown, live April 24th on Pay Per View. This has been a presentation of TNA Wrestling.